Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. How is everyone doing? You know what I love about this, this platform? What I love about you guys, my Bodo fam, is that if I come out in the morning, when I day here, I come in the afternoon, when I full grand, I come for night, when I day, any time of the day that I come out, you guys are always, always here. And I'm so grateful. Honestly, I don't take this love and and support for granted. Not too much, my widow farm. I, I had to now. <laughs> the other day was a Sunday, Sunday morning. <laughs> Some people woke up around five to join that show. Ah ah. Oh, you guys and they make my head they swell. Rumi, woo, me is always swelling. My head is always swelling. But, uh, uh, the community we built here. Is amazing. It's very, very strong. Thank you all so much for your commitment to the good work that the Lord is doing through this platform. As I was just about to come, I had another testimony, a long one. I've not even finished reading it because it's too long. So whenever you come here, just know that you are doing the Lord's work. Honestly, we are not wasting our time. We are not just here ranting and shouting daily. Isha Uluwa Lanshe. Hmm. You're always on standby, Chidima, Giriba, <laughs> like Hiroko 3. <laughs> you see why? The, that is what fires my bones, fires me up, because I know, say, ah, my Bodofan will be here. So thank you all so much. I salute each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am, I am. Mm -hmm. I am doing well psychologically and emotionally. Thank you, Juliet, for asking. That's a really good, good, good question. <laughs> ah, Julia, thank you. I am very all right, too, both psychologically and emotionally. I am. We've been talking about IVD and Abimbola for about a week now. Mm -hmm. Yes. The matter, you know, I keep telling you guys, please remember to like as you are coming in. Give it a thumbs up as you come in, please. Very, very important. That you like and i want to thank you guys for the likes the likes have been really crazy really really impressive so i'm very grateful for that people are remembering now to like so we're getting like a thousand likes a thousand plus like now on every video on every show that we do here so for that i say a massive thank you if you are just joining us please give us a like if you are not subscribed already please do so very important that you do so as we need you to be in the studio. And unfortunately, if you are not subscribed, you cannot be in the studio. So subscribe and join the crew. Join the join the movement. It's a movement, though. This movement is very, very strong. It's very, very powerful. We are doing something amazing here, if I can say so myself. Thank you all so much. The confirmation are coming in by the day. Mm -hmm. Confirmation, if this platform has blessed you in any way, you've learned anything, don't keep it to yourself, oh. Don't be like, uh, you know those people that uh, got a miracle and the virgins, some went and some came back. Don't be like those ones, though. Come and testify. Come and share with us. I always look forward to hearing from people who say, this is what I learned. I built my self-esteem. From listening to your shows, I, I, I learned this and learned that. It's always very good to share. So please do share with us. Send me a DM on Instagram. Email me. Send me a message on WhatsApp, whatever works for you. Thank you all so much for being here. So tonight, we won't reason this matter again, no. You know, I told you guys that this matter, eh, not be, not be, in fact, we'll not feel on pick and finish in one month. Mm. Right? Adewale. This matter is long, very, very long, deep and complicated. So we haven't got much time because I have another show set up for 7 p.m., which is the usual time. I didn't want to change that show because me and the Blooming Room have been arranging it forever. So I say whatever happens today, we're going to have that show. So I decided to push myself a little bit further by, you know, starting a bit early so we can get this one done and we'll get to another one. Mm -hmm. So... The matter of IVD and Abimbola has been going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Hmm? 
<laughs> oh my god. Meanwhile, as I speak to you now, only of you is doing another wedding. <laughs> There's another wedding going on as I speak to you now. Kila ti fe se yisi bayi o wo won we we se wedding o wa po ju bayi tori Olorun. Ojojumo, ojojumo lodu. There's a wedding going on now. Oh my god. Eh eh. Nancy, you said what we have learned my sister is that I start giving testimony. If I start giving testimony, you'll be shocked. This movement is not only for Nigerians. I'm in my way, so we move. Okay, no, it's definitely not for Nigerians alone. No, it's not. It's not. Wherever you are on the face of this world, it is for you. Mm -hmm. It's not for Nigerians alone. And Margaret said, the red flags of Mongo Park is, perma is permanently imprinted in my brain because of your show. Oh, thank you so much. It's good that we know the red flags, though, because the, all the issues that you see, for instance, the issue of this matter that we've been talking about now bimbo and ivd is foundational issues they are all foundation they are foundation there were so many reasons why bimbo should not have gotten into this marriage but she did so red flags we cannot even overemphasize why people need to watch out for the red flags bb and nj how are you doing there i hope you are feeling better take it easy my darling so nice to see you geo said Thank you, Auntie B. I've been watching for a year or so. Your show has opened my eyes. What I learned is as women, we should not chase men. Absolutely. No chase, oh, no chase, oh. they will chase you. If, if you chase men, they will take you, they will take you play. They're not going to take you serious. PK is always saying that men are hunters. So allow them to hunt in peace. That's how God has made them. So, yeah. Okay, let's get to the show because of time. Please give it a thumbs up. So, the issue, eh? another layer of it. Tonight, I want to talk about how this money was made. All this money that um, uh, the couple, or should I say IVD, the money that he made, how did he make this money? Okay, because uh, it is it is very important that you know the beginning of something. If you don't know how something came about, then hmm. hey. on social media every day we see people that always want for la when you toro. They will be begging God, please, God that did this for this person, do it for me too. Hmm? God who did this for me, do it for me too. Before you do that, you need to know where that person went to get oro oro Tony. The wealth that they have, the money they have, how did they get it? Very important. I mean, it's, it's just this day and age, the lens people will go to to make money, especially since this. I mean, people have always done things for money. But these days, eh, like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe because of social media, you know, the need to show off and impress other people. I don't know whatever it is, but young people, I'm not even talking about Babao because. When we they grow up, we yes and only and all those baba that used to and one man show go. But this day and age, young boys, we seen a video on YouTube on uh, on 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 social media where a thirteen year old boy go meet baba. A thirteen year old boy took his friend to a baba lao saying that he wants to use his friend to make money. No joke. People thought it was acting. It wasn't acting, no. Things are happening, my people. May the Lord protect his children. BBMJ said, my little guy is finding red flags. Even in high school kids, comes to me. It's amazing. They start as young boys. Yeah. It's a learned behavior. They learn from whom? The learn behavior is mostly learned. So maybe something is happening in the home that the boys are learning or the girls are learning. You pick it up. Mm -hmm. D said... And to be, we need more videos on and um, women empowerment and building healthy self-esteem. Okay, yes, definitely, we will. Uh, there's a lot that we need to to, to do. Ishak Bogon, plenty work in our hands. Oh, may the Lord strengthen us. So, how did IVD and what length did Bimbo go? Before I go further, I just want to play you. Let me play you this. So that you have it at the back of your mind. Let me play you this video. 
so you will see what was happening. Apparently, it started from South Africa. They were jonesing in Nigeria. There was nothing for them. And somebody decided to take them. So just love I got angry because when a Blessing Okoro got involved into the matter, he, she, she decided or they decided that, okay, they are going to now expose everything. Pata, pata. May they could break the table now since... IVD from wherever he is, because police said they've arrested him, but we've not seen any evidence of that, right? The Nigerian police that mean no. You guys remember when they arrested uh, Chidima? We saw it. They paraded her with her handcuffs and everything, granting com uh, press conference. But the Nigerian police said they've arrested IVD. Where is he? We don't know. So I don't know how far that through is, uh, that, that information is. I'm beginning to doubt it. I'm beginning to doubt it. So just love her going, going into this matter and said, okay, since uh, it's like he's paying hungry bloggers now to fight his cause in the court of social media, even though he's not been charged yet, he's trying to, to claim that uh, he's innocent and, you know, that uh, Bim, Abimbola is the one that has the issue. She was the aggressor. She did it. She did that. So just love her decided to cuckoo open everything, right? So it, she, they are the ones that started this whole scenario of how this money came about. I'm just going to summarize because it's too long. Apparently, now South Africa, they go, my people, they went to South Africa. They said that there was an, uh, you know how you have a, a, an uncle in an adubo, where you live, where you have an uncle. Hmm? And this person was the one that took IVD to South Africa. This is how it started. The money journey. This is how it started. His name is Ike Chuku. You guys remember? Uh -huh. So when they got together, he was living on uh, Bim, uh, Abimbo's uh, father's money. But in September of 2015, a certain man called Hilary Okoso invited him, that's Ike Chuku, to South Africa. The man is a childhood friend and they all grew up to, together in the same area. So they did visa for IVD and took him in. But by then, Abimbola already had three kids and she was pregnant with the fourth, which, you know, they said that IVD denied that the fourth pregnancy does not belong to him. And this caused a lot of problem between them as always, you know, their problem. I mean, the, the relationship was chaotic and problematic from day one. I don't think these two ever have peace. It's a case of picking one saying, my man no go sleep, instead no go sleep for I. Both of them no sleep one day. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, you not survive that pregnancy. The pregnancy not survive. So, she not come. Like Bimbo was not unable to go with him when he was going to South Africa in 2015 because she was trying to heal. The next month, she and her three children went to meet him in South Africa. Mm hmm. Hmm. So when they got there now. Now in business start to the kind of business where they enter, when they go there, go they do now the business of banner. Mm -hmm. You guys get what I mean? Banner, white banner, now they go they do. So now that business they go they do. They defraud people, they do banner and all those things. You see, eh, sometimes then eh, what would they talk? Say South Africans eh, they they hostile to Nigerians. What is some Nigerians they go to for South Africa is despicable, honestly. Nigerians go come up for Nigeria, carry their two left leg, enter other African countries, go they do nonsense there. How many of them see that uh, this thing for there's a post that Abike Dabri was dragging somebody that was calling her this Mumu woman? Say, you know, they help Nigerians where they go, Indonesia, that go into trouble there. Where they call Abike Dabri Mumu woman, where Abike Dabri, Abike Dabri, <laughs> he dragged the person, honestly. So, he entered the nine, they enter four one nine. They enter banner business. So Yahoo. They say now nah, the person where he carry and go. Now nah, then they, they collect Yahoo account to give people where they say they carry money. They they carry money, they carry banner, all those things that they, they do for them. Mm -hmm. They mention some name more. Some of the names they say na Solomon Okosu. Eh? And Hilary. Eh -eh. Hilary. Blood brother. Innocent Okosun. Uh -huh. Now the names where they mention for the matter be that. 
like I talked, say the story is long and it's complicated. So when they reach there and they do all those business, they introduce them to the business. Mm -hmm. And they can't get one big deal in 20, 2016, right? Hold on. I'll close this door. Eh? They do deal in 2016 where they make plenty money. <laughs> when I make the plenty money now, they say that they share the money before. That they share the money. Anytime they go, they will share money. Now in they come come together. The person will carry them go. Now they come talk, say, say this money no go rich. No go rich them. Hmm? So, what did they go do? What did they decide to do? Be say the person will bring them come, the main person will bring them come, say me they buy them so that the money go go round. You know, see so now they see something, the story plenty. You. Hmm. They say me they buy now, so they buy the man. No, when they buy the man, finish eh? now be small thing. No, now he. Now, the wrong con will carry money shell, wrong con, come Ninja. Okay, they will arrest some of them. If you go just love you go see all the story. It's very, very long. They carry money share, some of the wrong con Ninja. Because they say the money no go reach them. You know now, there's no one among, among thieves. All of them are na, na crooks, they be now. So, they need to, their hand no clean. Hmm? When they buy the person finish, they carry the money wrong come. When they wrong come, they can't share the money. They share the money finish. Now he can't decide to open in big business where they do. Okay, so they say the wife of that man when they buy so, eh? <laughs> they say, nah, Esther be the wife name. And if you see one of the videos where they share, you go they see where they, where they, where where she they shout for this video. When being for the shout, say, ah, you think say, do you think I'm Esther? You think I'm Esther when the wall are too much? They shall say no be Esther. All right. The carry money show wife no fit talk or the wife they tell the wife say if he talk, they go deal with her. Poor widow, what do you want to talk? You know the kind of business when even if you know the kind of business when your husband, they do. You go if you follow them drag. No go feel follow them drag now. Anyway, summary of the story say they share the money among themselves. Till today, nothing come out. They say IV they use money, block that case so that you know go enter trouble. He escaped, come on for South Africa and come Nigeria. They share the money 60-40. Hmm? Now you're on Lagos. Hmm. Now you start business. As he start business, he, he start the business, he buy, he invest in properties. Okay? He started the automobile business. But according to this lover, both Bimbo, Abimbola, and uh, Ikechuku, both of them, they, they use banner steady. They, they use banner steady. Maybe they don't reach uh, that thing when uh, I be here that time. Say, person, when you, they, you, they say something, you're not supposed to get high. Don't get high on your own supply. Maybe they never hear that one before. I don't know. But they were heavily into it. So both of them can't they hooked on the thing. But now where did they take? So as they hook on the thing now, money can't they go now. You know how money be now. And you know, say this banner business now. If you they take and you too, if you take all your profits, go finish. Money can't finish. As money finish, now they can't go bad agree. Go do top up. They go do a to two so that the business go they move forward. What are they following me on a layer so now in the matter deal? So you know, say the first time we talked about this, we said that Bimbo, when she was ranting at the beginning of that video, the very first one we, we did that she was saying that uh, she carried a to two. Now now we know the carry to two where she carried. She said she carried a to two for her husband. Saying as she they carry go baba, please. 
They talk say na her head na in oil. They say oil no today. He get chuku head. Na he make na she go they renew the etu tu where she they carry. And part of the etu tu be say she go they colo every month. They enter markets. Hmm. He go they enter market every month without you know wear shoe. I just say na joke. Oh, you know when the friend said that she used to enter the market. That bimbo will enter the market. You know, barefooted. I was like, you know, the friend said it. If you remember the very first, I think it's the second show we did about it. The friend said it. My dear, it wasn't a joke. Oh. Not be joke. Oh. Nine video comes of first. I know say you just love how they talk. You know, they talk with evidence. You know, they talk, say, then say, then say. This is the video of Bimbo when they enter market. So apparently, when she's going to the market, she will tell them that she's doing skits. No, see, huh? she will tell them she's doing skits so that they will not be suspicious. Because you know now, Lego chance that will say, ah, ah, he go to lele yi. barefooted. No, see, huh? he goes, she, so she will now lie to the traders that she's doing. No, see that one, that one they do. Yo, 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 for back. <laughs> That's what she used to do. She needs. And according to Ebo, uh -huh, sorry, let's grab the coffee. It's Ebo, not it to two. Ebo, yeah. According to this lover, they say when she finished doing the uh, this one in the day, now the night be the main, the main Ebo. Mm -hmm. For night, now be the main one. Say, now for night, now she will call carry the main heavy or bunga one to have a piece, whatever gods or spirits that are bringing the, 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 the good luck or riches or money they are way all right so she'll do that one in the day she'll do the other one at night you know say that one for night you cannot video it because you can't video spirits <laughs> if you video spirit they will slap you mm. to see the depth the depth that this this lady went to just to see the depth that this she went to yes roots it's only in Nigeria people celebrate knowing without knowing the source. Nobody cares about the source. So this uh, audio I'm about to play to you now. This is this was Bimbo talking to someone and telling someone to record. So apparently they are not the only ones that did this 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 thing. It was about four of them. Ikechiku and four and three of his friends did the same thing. And Bimbo said that for all the four women, they were experiencing the same symptoms. You know, we already established it that day when we're talking about all this spiritual implication of doing these things. Hmm. That the Babala Wolves don't usually tell you the whole story. They, ah, if you go and carry a ball, this is what is going to happen to you. They don't tell them the full thing. All right? But it's after you do it that you will now say that, they, hmm, there's always some repercussions. There's always some... You experience something. So this audio, I'm going to play it to you in a minute. Bimbo was telling somebody that, ah, how come all four of the women that did the same thing are experiencing exactly the same symptoms? Every month, they, begin, they, 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 they will go, they will lose their mind, like they lose their sanity. They, they don't run mad. When I listen, my player. Continue with another number. I'll buy another number. Not 
something is not right. Something is not right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make so you can hear that. That that was Bimbo's voice. May her soul rest in peace. That was Bimbo. She was basically telling the person to record the call. And she said she was going to be changing her password, you know, because whenever they, they get into it with the IVD, phones are always getting smashed. He's always taking her phone and things like that. So he said the person should record it. She was trying to investigate. She said she was going to be talking to all the other ladies. I think she told her mom also this is what is going on. So she was confiding in someone here that the four wives make you see women. <laughs> hey, women, women. What do women they do all in the name of love and marriage? The extent at which a lot of women will go for marriage and the things that women would do. They won't even do it for themselves though. They might not even do it for their children, but they will do it for marriage, for husband. So Bimbo is confiding to this person that Baba came to their house. Mm -hmm. Because they are behaving, you know, funny, abnormal. At the same time, every month. So she was trying to set up a meeting with the four women so that they can get a solution. So she told the person to record it because IVD takes her phone. So she wants to wipe wipe all the evidence away from the phone. So she was telling the person, you see how she was whispering? And this was after I done impregnate, you know, Yawa done the gas that time as in. It was impregnating women up and down. He impregnated the first one, he said it was a mistake. The second one, he said it was a mistake. But Bimbo was not having it. Mm -hmm. So, after I impregnated the second wife and the second uh, side chick, according to this lover, <laughs> she, saw, she stopped carrying the elbow, uh, the, the elbow because every six months she would carry elbow for him and things went south. First, he started having issues with EFCC. Secondly, his business stopped booming and things began to go east and west and south. So you now begged Bimbo. I will show you the video. And now one thing I like about it, I like this global for, 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 some, for one area. There are somebody that always, they don't like cheating. Like me in that way. They don't, she, the, that person doesn't like somebody being cheated on. Now another person matter in the carry for head too. <laughs> Let's say, you know, the extent where they go, eh? it pass. He passed, I passed my neighbor. If you want to drag you, they pass, I passed my neighbor generator. They tell they drag people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, she, people stop carrying sacrifice while I can't begin the shelly. Mm -hmm. So, the business no work again. The lock shop, the lock car business, debt here and there. They call they get, they stay up and down. So, now only that house now remain. They sell everything according to this lover. Everything now they sell. Because then they take the banner now. The sacrifice. They no do it again. Bimbo say no do it again. Money no they enter. Remember, the reason why she stopped doing the sacrifice is because of the betrayer that she felt. Supposedly because IVD was in the shake bola up and down. They give they knock women up and down, they give people belly. So you no, know, at this point now I'm thinking she's feeling ah uh -uh. how can I go all this way for you? Because I believe in this marriage, I love you, whatever, whether I love go come and win no say no down and they say no be love obsession. How can you be sharing bola up and down and you they give women belly outside? Now she very say no carry again. Now everything that baru, my people. According to this lover. So she said she know they do it again. Now let that one has remained. They sold everything. So that was why the only paper that they were dragging on the day that this incident happened was the paper of the only house that he has. So, I caught, so in Bimbo's mind, she was like, okay, since everything done that baru now, let me take the paper of the house so that I, if I need to sell the house so that I can fend for my children. Now we had to start to the drag paper of house with that. So this is it. Now that they see him, 
make I play you the video of um, of uh, Ikechuku when he beg say make uh, he say make uh, maybe Bob come back on one of their numerous fights when she come out when she say she know they do it again cut and say I beg come back because uh, uh, relationship therapist is son way say he won't get involved in the matter say i'm coming into this as a relationship expert <laughs> i beg you take do therapy for somebody where you don't delete where no they get person where don't buy you say you be their relationship experts we will talk to you and uh, madam kem kem on madam kem kem on i make me laugh pass that woman eh? honestly nigeria eh? they need to help that woman honestly So now IVD, he send a message. He go record video. You know, since it's a bit hard to do. You know, I was telling you the other day about how trauma bonding, the way it works. He go send a video. He go look. He go look. What, look, look the video. Now one of the video we sent to Rana. Go say please. I I'm never begging sleep. you. Who sleeps in my eyes. Forgive yes, me. Yeah. I never sleep. Just forgive me. I'm being very tired. See my eyes. I yes, never sleep. Go record video, I and go give her. No face. I don't beg you. No, forgive me. I beg. I was acting in face of alcohol, please. I know I've caused you so much pain. I just gonna beg you. I beg. I beg. No, take the kids away from me. I know. See, for one day, you never know, wish me bad. You never know, wish me dead. I know. See, if you see me dead, you know, go happy. I beg. Everything I'm sc Everything I'm scattered. My whole life is shattered. It's only who I have. It's only if I you lose I you, have. enemies will get me. I will I die. Women just I don't want that. to die. It's only you I have. I beg you, just forgive me. I beg. While I was taxing and typing, I don't even know what I was typing. That thing I took, all the things I took, it got me high. I don't even know what I was doing. No verse for me. I beg my wife. No verse for me. I beg. Please, sleep. They catch me. I don't know if I won't sleep. Eh? My phone don't disable. I don't get any money. I don't get money. Money will give me now for this thing. I don't use that. Yeah, I don't use that drink. Me. Yeah. I don't use that drink. Almost finish. Yeah, I beg, forgive me. I beg. Why are you? Please. There is nothing outside. Please. I beg you. Please. I want to stay with the kids. I want to be with all of you. Please forgive me. Sorry, I don't tire. I never sleep, go sleep, see my eyes, forgive me. I don't see her. And so, I don't tire, I never sleep, the money when you give me. So, this is supposedly a, a billionaire on social media, be. Now, the social media billionaire, I be millionaire, be this when uh, people, if people say, they go to hell, see, uh, believe people on that, especially that app they call Instagram. Believe people at your own risk. The level of deception where they go on for that, for that app. Oh, Cynthia, you were talking about uh, the video where he sent uh, he sent all of them out back. Uh, hey, Shabi, I'm on uh, this lover page. It's here. I have it here. He told all of them. Even the neighbor, the neighbor that is uh, across the road is the neighbor that. No, this is the video. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Sent all of them out the house. He sent them out. The children. Cross the road to their neighbor house. Somebody was recording it across. I mean, some of the talks here, this this marriage and everything that happens in it there is something that needs to be studied. Even people that write scripts, Nollywood script writers that sit down to write script, I'm not sure they can be this imaginative. I don't think they can sit down and come up with so much. Yeah, he sent it, he sent all of them out. It's not once now, it's not twice, it's not three times. So there's a lot of 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 you know so many things going up in going up in this relationship. You talk about the the mental one, you know, the physical aspect of it, you talk about the spiritual aspect of it, name it, emotional aspect of it. And somebody shared uh Lady Trish, God bless you, shared um uh, Abimbola's um uh, Abimbola's what's it called? Um social media handle with me. She was very active on top. On TikTok, you should see the videos. That You see the children. See how young they are. So when they said that the children are in boarding school, I said, do they have boarding school for babies now? Look at them. 
they have boarding school for babies now. This, this ones will be in primary school now, not be secondary school now for the, the now for the century and go boarding school. Now so they are like in that in that they are street. I just say people don't tire for them. They don't tire for them. You know, so as they hold each other hand, they cross road. Neka. Now so. I saw the videos, all the videos that Abimbala was doing with her her daughter. She has a teenage daughter. And, I, and my heart just went out to those children. How are they going to cope? The level of professional input that they need. Therapy, years of therapy. Who will pay for those therapy sessions? Who? Who? Ha! Now, wow, my people... It's not here. So, as all this was going on now, you know, uh, when um, when the police announced that um, he's been arrested, that uh, Ike Chiku has been arrested, next thing we know, the family, I saw it, I didn't want to believe it when I first saw it, I was like, mm, can this be true? There was a statement that was issued by the family. Let me, I, I, I screenshotted it here. I saw it on, I think it was famous blog that I saw it that they said, so this is what the police, um, I think is their PRO issued this statement, SP Benjamin said, contrary to claims by family and friends that 37 year old Ike Chuko Obona, aka IVD is on the run, he's been arrested and transferred to the state criminal investigation department in Yaba. And Abimbola lives which I believe is run and I can't run by uh, the family, that's Bimbo's family, put something there. I was very, very curious about that statement that why would the police say they've apprehended him, he's in custody, and you are saying this. This is what that Bimbo Lali says. They now tagged the police uh, policeman and said, contrary to claim, you say, sir, Late Bimbo was in hospital for days and the husband was nowhere to be found up till the time that she died. Not a single word. When was, the, when was this arrest affected by the Nigerian police that the family were, weren't involved or informed? We, the Martins family, have no knowledge of this said arrest and we can't confirm it. All we know is that Mr. IVD has set up a committee of damage control to invade justice, which consists of Kemi Oluloyo and Blessing Okoro. The world is watching. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, if the police say they have him, is it secret arrest? How come nobody knows about it? How come, you know, they have not shared any information apart from these tweets? And Nigerian police are so woke these days. Now, Twitter, they tell they follow us talk now, Abby. Now, Twitter. Hey. Now, for Twitter, will they get information now? My dear people of God, you know, and for them, when the family issued that statement saying that uh, IVD is on a image control, a image modding, I don't know, whatever campaign he was in, that he's employed those two people. You know, they always like to be on the other side. Any matter, I know now, Mm -hmm. Ajimot will always be on the other side of any matter. When so many sensitive issues, very sensitive issues. For instance, that kid that was in a boarding school, somebody that claimed to be a mother could come out and stand with the school to, uh, to stack. Don Davis, started with Don Davis. Any, it's like they've, they can't recognize her now, say, any controversial matter, just fine. Shabi, I said it the other day. That they also find money and give them. But you see the funny thing that made me laugh in all this? That just like I was saying that uh, uh, Ajimot will still get involved in it. Now Ajimot tell them, say, I beg, gonna free me. I don't get money to post on all social media. I saw this one and laugh, laugh, laugh. I won't think it was hilarious. She said, I'm sorry, I can't post on all platform. I have no money to do so. I am an independent journalist with no funding. And do a fantastic job always in capitals. Mm -hmm. Hashtag IJ IVDB Bimbo. Mm -hmm. There will be videos on on, uh, on storytelling form. If you want to donate, you can put your account number. 
<laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nigeria, that everybody's everybody's even over here these days, everybody's counting, counting their coins. Now you say me they can't donate for you. You that always do a thorough investigation. Always. Always. <laughs> you say me they can't donate. You put a can number there. Me they can't donate for and to do investigation for matter when you no know, consign now. You know that the best way it contacts you to investigate, to pay you. Show. Now be you buy market, now be go pay. I feel buy market now, go tell another person to go pay for the market. What I buy? Show. Now, wow. Hmm. Nigerian journalist. Nigerian investigative journalist. Mokbedi for you. Now, well done. Hmm. Have a trained. Have a trained investigative journalist. I could Now, in the other one, no. Carry yourself enter the matter. But you know what? I am so glad because you know, eh, the people who get this app, eh, they get sense. They don't just make the app so that anybody will come there, come they talk nonsense. I mean, the level, the level that blessing Okoro went on this matter. I have never seen a thing like that before. Even for Ajimot. Ajimot, sometimes she they go, but not to this level. Blessing Okoro, what she did to this family. I pray that if the same thing will happen to her, then she will be looking for an investigative journalist or a relationship therapist, his son, to come and defend her. She came for this family with full force. But you know what? Her account has been taken. They've taken her account now, which is really, really good because she finally knows that, okay, no, on this app, you cannot behave like that. Trust Just Lover now. Once Just Lover go into the matter, ha, the rest is history. All the fans, Nigerians, were angry. Nigerians were already angry with what happened. Everybody was so distraught with everything that happened in this situation. This woman jumped into this matter. She said, I'm stepping into it now. Uh -huh. Okay, let me let me show you the first thing. Her account has been taken down now, guys. So uh, we thank God for that. I am so grateful to God that, you know, you cannot just take on a family... Something has got nothing to do with you. And you take them on like that. You know? She said, I'm stepping into the matter now as a, as a relationship uh, the expert. That uh, IVD is innocent. That is being born that did this, being born that did that. I'm like, okay, so are you, is the advice coming as a relationship expert or, is, uh, or as, an, as a journalist or as a police or as a as an investigator i don't know because it's quite confusing to me this guest started making videos upon videos upon video do you know that even the celebrities people like ikechi blessing that you know other people always accuse her of cloud chasing but sometimes people know when to draw the line when a rich matter like this you go enter house and say ah, ah, ah. This one not be my matter now this one people they involve now now some of the life they talk about now when they talk about somebody live, the family is grieving. Let, let's respect them. Let's allow them to grieve in peace. Bless you, no grill. Carry the matter for head. He begin to yap the all the celebrities where tell them to keep quiet. Say, stay away from this one. He start to do video upon video upon video. Say anybody where tell him, tell him, say no get. He say no get any respect for the for 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 for, for person where don't buy. That the living get respect for. Make anybody no tell her not to enter this matter. Anybody will tell her not to enter this matter. Sure. <laughs> People they look, they, they look, say, what is this? What is this? What did this family do you? This is the first thing she said. She said, I'm stepping into this case as the official relationship therapist of IVD. So the question is, was it after the wife don't buy now you become relationship therapist or not before? After or before, because if you are truly a relationship therapist, you've done a very lousy job. You know, feel therap you know, give them any therapeutic measures to cope with their relationship, with everything that was going through. So say the wife don't buy. She said, I will drop all the evidence. That IVD is not responsible for how a wife take by. So you know, even hurting wife at all at all. That being boy is the one that is a violent person. That she she's a she she, she won't by herself. But what is she not understand? Be saying when person get you get mental illness. Mm -hmm. And I know say some of you that are professionals here know that 
when people they try to take away the pain that they feel inside. I know if you talk the name here, but you get what I mean. When they go to do things, where it go be like say the things that they do things to harm themselves. Now it's called mental health. Illness. Now sickness now reach there. Now in face being boss sister. He said, being boss sister, I want to ask you a few questions. Her name is, I think they call her Mama Jazz. That's her social media name. Were you in talking terms with your sister before she deletes? Or are you owing your late sister 18 million? Even if, I don't know if how far this information is correct, but even if it was correct, and I'm just assuming, I mean, that is correct. How did she get that information? Ivy is feeding her information. He said, did you block each other before Bimbo was deleted? Do you even like your own sister's children? Eh? This is somebody that has just loved her only sister. That's her only sister. The only two girls in the family. Five brothers, two sisters. He said, do you even like the sister? Answer this question before I will slam the internet with raw facts and evidence. <laughs> hey. Me, really, really. Then she went on to conclude that the family of Abimbola is after Ivy's properties and his life, especially the elder sister, Mama Jazz. He said, being born and Ivy, they are well-known people in Lagos, and it's not a hidden fact that even in their estates, now being born be the problem person. Everybody knows her, how she they do, all the things where she they do, bottles flying up and down on his head daily. Saying her bimbo, now he deleted herself. And she's always wanted to do it from childhood. Evidence loading. My people, now don't say this kind of matter. Serious matter. Then she ended the tarade and the and and the the, I don't even know what to call her now. The English, they escape, escape me. The, when I thank Christ, she could come become her. No, no. You end up with saying, all the voice notes and evidence will be on my YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe. <laughs> last, last. Come and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come and subscribe to my Facebook and with somebody's... This matter that is so delicate, you want subscribers... Forgetting that she's somebody's child. She's a mother. Even the UK Chukusev has family. Irrespective of our feelings about him. He's a human being. I think he's trying to, maybe he was trying to say, okay, how can I manage this so that they will see me in a better light? Because to him, don't forget, say, both of them, they're not well for head. To him, as crucial and as terrible as this matter is, they are still trying to salvage their image. Now, image still they hate so. Because I never see where they've tossed in a social media for judge matter. When person go court, where they sentence and go prison. Based on social media information or social media uh, judgment or validation or whatever people think. If there's no concrete evidence that will be presented to a judge. Very, very delicate matter. You dare say you get evidence. As a matter of fact, blessing, Okoro. When go to use another person's house, they, they were almost stiff for years. The house go bring, I don't know, maybe in a IV, they give an person number. You go bring evidence, say, uh, child, being boss childhood friend that they grew up together. That one said, come they talk, say, being boss, she's always been like this, that she has, you know, all these attachment issues. That she's anybody where she they, even as ordinary girlfriend, and so she they leash on you, she no go let you go. All her friends, now, now I come to vomit. I thank God, say this love, I talk, say they come for that one. I cannot wait. The dragon, eh? The dragon, eh? Not be here. Mary Vicky, she should be arrested. I'm so glad that her page, and you see the funny thing, that's a source of livelihood, it's been taken away. So that's the first, that, that has given me some solace. It's giving me some peace in my heart now that you can't just carry on and on. At the end of the day, if you ask you, what is your business in all this? Blessing Okoro, uh, blessing, uh, what's her name? The other blessing where they, uh, where they marry, when they get boyfriend, every day where they do love, where Sabi do love. In KG blessing, talk to her. Even uh, this uh, apostle, girlfriend, talk to her. All of them put my say blessing. 
Die this matter. Free this matter. This thing no get anything to do with you. You should not grow. You begin to do video about them. Begin to cause them. Say, oh, you celebrities, when you have problems, you, you, you are always in my DM. Now they say, hey, since relationship is bad. Even if you were certified or qualified to give relationship advice, nobody will feel come give, meet you because they don't say anything I tell you the next day, you will even do video. <laughs> Gabriela, what are you saying? You say she was trying to obstruct justice in this case. Yeah. A lot of people, guess what, Gabriela? Her page was taken down. She opened another one immediately. They reported that one again. That one too was taken down. She was on a smear campaign. How can you be smearing somebody that is already deleted? The family is grieving, but you are here. She don't delete already. She cannot defend herself. So, this is what's, what's been happening. The part I want to really, really talk about was, I think we talked about it before, but we didn't know all the details before. So, you can see now that all the money, where would they talk about? All the money they made. The so-called money that they made was all from Ogun Onoshe, Iran Onoshe. Now, banana money, na money where not clean, na blood money. That's where you carry you go South Africa, na buy them because na no one share. Now the result be that too. Bible talk among the wages, the wages of sin. Hmm. The wages of sin, eh? Odion said, "Auntie B is in prison. His wife's family went there to fight." When there to fight me, they have transferred him to another prison. To fight him, you mean? Ah, I see. Mm, okay. The wife's family went to the prison where he was. They transferred him. Okay. I've got literally 20 minutes for this show. If you've got anything to say, the link is in the comment section. Join me. Let's say it quickly because there's another show at seven. You see the length. The length that these people went for this money, for this social media money. And when I saw all the videos of Bimbola on her TikTok, it, can't, it made a whole lot of sense. All the videos with all the filters and everything. If and if your connection is not good, can you adjust it a little bit quickly because there's no time, yeah? So I can add you. Just one or two, three people, then we're out of here because we have another show set up for seven. With all the filters and everything, if you look at her, you go, no. If you see her wrist, so many of her videos now, when her wrist, now bandage, now full of, Ashe Nagbana, the banner that they sell, now that they take. You say you be relationship experts. If these people get relationship uh, coach or relationship expert where they advise them, even the relationship expert says, suppose they prison. Because they've not done a very good job. Because if you if you are truly qualified, you'd have taught Bimbo that okay, this environment is not healthy. They've got five children. Uh, five whole human beings that depend on you. Both of these parents were very, very selfish. We understand that there were issues with mental health, emotional, you know, whatever, spiritual, but both of them were so selfish when it comes to their children. Nobody was willing to let go. Why couldn't Ike Chuku leave the house? You have five children. You are a man. You can bounce. Go somewhere else. Scout with your friends or stay in a hotel or whatever. But he didn't. Even over here in this part of the world, when, you know, there's a divorce and there's custody and all this wahalav, you know, who go girls, who no girls, it's always about the well-being of the children. But these parents, none of them thought about the well-being of those children. Oh, yeah, that I, you remind me of something. You know that Blessing talked to the extent that he was talking about, um, about their mother, about Bimbala's mother, that they should go and ask the mother where their father is. That this is the same thing the mother did and they drove the mother, the father away. I was like, wow. This girl went in. She went deep. She was talking about her parents. Ah! I am a Nikao. This is wickedness in high places. Oh, You finish talking about this girl. It's her parents we are talking about now. Oh, Tia Bero, long. Now, wow. BB, welcome, my darling. Hey, Auntie B. Good afternoon. I'll be good evening. How are you welcome. doing? 
I'm so glad to hear your voice. Your voice is smiling. I can hear your voice is smiling. I love oh, that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all you do. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for all you do. I, I just wish people can really, really learn from this and, you know, do better. Uh, first thing first, I give you your flowers. May God continue to bless you and keep you strong for us. Amen. Because what you do is not an easy job. Obodofa, my beg on make on a like go. Eh, you know, easy. After a long day to put our heart out like this, it's something we, the way we can appreciate is to please like the show. Like go. I beg like it, like, like it, it like it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not gonna like the show. But as Sister B, what I wanted to really emphasize here was the beginning of marriage is so fundamental. Absolutely. The, pe the people, these people, this couple let into their family life. In as much as they all had their problems, but that foundation was really crucial because from the wrong kind of mentor, it became a detrimental path that led to this. So if maybe they had somebody that was mentoring them well and showed Ikechuku the right path, it may not have been this bad, even if he wasn't such a fantastic person, at least it was try good. So we women, first and foremost, please be careful as to who you pick as a life partner because mm. it can go south in just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. In as much as her family try to do all they can. So mm -hmm. say the, the picking the boy, na better person, at least if for try change the narrative so that the family go say, okay, maybe waiting she been the see, we know see him. But because mm -hmm. the boy was so greedy, greed day in eye for him body, it took him to the wrong place and dragged all of them. And I'm not to borrow. Uh -huh. We no green lane. See where the and now everybody is suffering now. So women, yes, please, for us that are already in it, it's not there's nothing wrong in advising our burros. Please be careful who you pick. Be intentional about it. Have a vision for yourself. So that even if somebody that comes with a stronger vision come, if that vision no align with your own, waka, you know, late. And there's somebody for everybody. God know they sleep. He gives us our own when we are intentional about it. That's all I wanted to say. I feel sorry for the family. I hope that they all can heal. Hmm. And I feel sorry for the children the most. They don't deserve this. They don't beg anybody to come this life. Then come this like come see nonsense. So I beg, I beg, this is our own learning, you know. Even for our children, this is for our own learning, boys and girls. We should be intentional. Who comes around them? What kind of energy comes around them? What they come up with? And then to pick out the tiny things that may not look like anything, but that may blow up in their faces tomorrow. This is the learning period. That's all I wanted to say, Sister B. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my darling. Feel better. Love you loads. God bless you. F and F, your, connect, your internet is still not... Uh, it's, it's a poor connection. I can't add you. Okay? That's why I keep removing, removing you. Fix it and come back, please. My link is in the comment section. Guys, Cynthia said something. She said that if it was this part of the world, those children would have been removed. Okay? By children, social workers. And that's why you see Nigerians, when, when they, Africans in general, you come to the abroad and you carry the same mentality to come here. When a social worker comes to do an assessment and they see that this is a safeguarding matter and it's a child protection matter and they remove the children, you start swearing for them. But, ah, social workers are evil. They collect my children. They did this. They did that. If those children were removed, they would have been protected. So I know Nigeria has uh, social services. I don't think they are in that you know state yet. They haven't developed it to that extent where they need to remove. They need to go to court and seek, you know, a judge to give an order for the children to be removed, even if it's temporarily, because sometimes they remove children from in this part of the world temporarily. They send the par parents to parenting class, anger ma management, whatever they need to do. They will do the work before the children can come back. And trust me. There's nothing to make a woman behave to, to for her to reset quickly as easily as when you take her children away. A lot of them, once you take their children away, even that man, when they said they're not going to leave, if the marriage was very, very 
where it bad like they say it be say na 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 devil's playground you will see their head go begin correct quick so it's not always a bad thing we need these systems in place very very important to have the system in place i'm telling you otherwise this story is not going to end after this i've been bothered won't happen you know how many don't happen again how many of you, now, you, 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 you a lot of you are on social media you they see them now how many will fit talk how many will fit talk if I had the opportunity to meet Peter Obi, the question I'll be asking him is, what are your plans for safeguarding women and children, families? What are your plans? There's high levels of DV in the country. You go to police, they will laugh at you and tell you, I better go back. Nobody's doing anything about it. You go tell police, they will collect money for, for the perpetrator, they will send you back, say, I better go, madam, I'll let you. Go and endure, it's your own. They will even blame yourself. The community will blame you, say you call police for your husband. That is one thing I want to find out from him. What is your plan for women and children? How do you intend to safeguard women and children? The most vulnerable in society. And one thing I want to say, Alfred Aspera, you are next. One thing I want to say is that uh, when it comes to DVA, what I know in my own experience is that not be saying that only women be perpetrate DV, but DV. Now, who get power passes about power and you know resources. And if you look at our society, now men they get those things pass. Mm. It's a patriarchy society, so men tend to have more resources and more power, and that is why women are always the victim. Not all the time, but a lot of perpetrators are always men because women have less resources, they have less power in the marriage. Mm. Afro Diaspora, welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Where you. Where are you us from? Um, I'm, I'm from London. I'm based in the UK. The, our Prime Minister has resigned again. What are we going yes. to do about this exactly. one? Hey. I, I, I don't really know what is going on. What are on. we going to do? Our own, our own politics <laughs> in the UK is falling apart. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> we are in trouble. Hopefully, we're in serious wala. We're in serious wala in this country. It's, it's, it's now getting. <laughs> it's now getting it's now so, you know what I saw this evening before coming on? I will make you laugh. <laughs> Richie Suna. Somebody did a, 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 a meme of Richie Suna and they put, okay, everybody, Miloko. <laughs> Miloko. <laughs> Richie Suna said, Miloko. <laughs> Oh my God! Hopefully they will be able to sort it out. Since yeah, I, no, we need a general election now. I mean, it's a joke. We need a general need election. Something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, back to the topic. What do you have to say? Well, uh, thank you so much, Sister B, for actually adding me on. I've been actually following your channel for almost three, four years now, I think, because um, I do really appreciate what you are doing. You are actually helping to raise that necessary awareness, especially on domestic abuse. Um, because coming from Nigeria, I'm origi originally from Nigeria. So coming from our culture, um, domestic um, violence- DV, don't say DV. Yes, mm -hmm. DV. Yes, because of the-, the Yeah. DV is something that is so sensitive. And um, within our culture, it's very it's it's difficult to actually talk about it. So for someone to actually have that front to be, uh, you know, to have the platform that you have and also be able to now talk about it, it's massive. You see, so I do really appreciate what you are doing, Thank and you. hopefully you will be able to continue with it because you are actually getting to people. You know, the changes that we are looking for may be a baby step, but hopefully we will get there. I believe Amen. So on the matter that um, you are dealing with today, um, I think I saw a post on, um, I think on TikTok um, with um, Blessing, is it Blessing CEO or something? Yes, that's what she yes. calls herself, CEO, yes. CEO yes. Of, of what I don't know. I, I don't get it. I saw that. And I don't normally comment on social media. I normally be like so professional. I don't like going into any. But I when when I saw that video, I was so upset that I have to comment. I put some right. comments under one of the video 
because I find it that she's actually blaming the victim. Yeah. Blaming this lady that is that she's already dead. Not only is blaming the victim, she was blaming the whole of her family. Exactly. And I find that so terrifying and upsetting. Because if we are going to actually get somewhere within Nigeria about DV, we need to, those individuals that will be fronting it, that will be out there speaking on behalf of whosoever they are representing, need to know at least what they are doing. They need to be aware of the impact of what they speak or what they say outside there. With her, I don't really know much about her. But what I know about DV, because that's my profession in the UK, is, is so dynamic. The issue of domestic abuse and violence is, is massive, as I said at the beginning. And I believe that women in Nigeria, a lot of women in Nigeria are silently suffering, either through physical abuse, emotional abuse. But because of the way our cultures are, it's very difficult, as I said, to talk about it. But what I know is that we are going to get there. We're going to continue to raise that awareness. We don't go, look at the, what happened with Oshinashi. That really gets me so upset. Yeah, social because, media is a, is a helping, to be honest, Afro uh, diaspora. Social media is definitely. bringing it out to the limelight. People are definitely. taking actions. Definitely. And I believe that as we continue to, to speak out, you know, speak out in a way that people that are in it, that are going through it, either a man or a woman, we understand what they are going through and they will be able to seek help. Because with domestic abuse, it's about seeking help. It's about talking to people around you, family member, friends, those ones that will support you to have a safety plan in place. I know in Nigeria, we may not have this big charity that may be providing that support that is needed, but speak to your family member. There will be somebody in your family that will understand what you are going, what you are going through. Speak to them, maybe your workplace, maybe in the church. Find somebody that gets it, not just somebody that will say, go and pray about it. Find somebody that will understand what you are going through then they will be able to have some plan with you and they will be able to support you to get out from it, to go out. It's very difficult, as I said, that the dynamic of domestic abuse, I can't even start talking about it because of time. Yeah, but unfortunately, speak, you yeah. know, I mean, for professionals, we understand. Yeah. Yeah. We talk from a professional point of view because we yeah. see mm -hmm. what the average person doesn't see, right? Yeah. Yeah. We know what yeah. goes on underneath all these things. Yeah. But Definitely. people who have no knowledge of what goes on, mm -hmm. I mean, the real, where these people's mind, you yeah. know, what they've been through, the impact, the impact is basically about the impact of the experiences they've had in DV yeah. situation, what, yeah. how it has affected their reasoning, yeah. their thinking. They are not, they, they can't be, a, you know, an, a, they can't analyze things or be, no. you know, so spontaneous to respond to situations or anything like no. that anymore. No. So no. when you understand the impact, then you have mm. a little bit of more empathy. Unfortunately, yes. a lot of people don't. Yes. And the impact of domestic abuse is massive. You know, it is impacted on the children. Everything that the individual will be doing, it will be affecting it. Because even if it is emotional abuse that you are going through, you know, they, that continuously moving, working on the eggshell, trying to please that person is, is, a, is a job on its own. Did, so did you see the video where he was begging her to come back? Please now. Yes, I saw that video. I have nothing I without that. you. There's exactly. nothing out there. That's after he pregnated two women. Oh, please come exactly. back. And that is the dynamic we're talking about. That is the perpetrator <laughs> way of behavior, that they will continuously begging you, pleading with you, you know, coercively, you know, gaslighting you, saying things that you will love to hear. You want to saying hear. Things, exactly. Mm. Saying things that they know because they've lived with you. They know you. They know what the, the button to press to get you to do what they want, to get you to a place that they want. So they will keep on. And, you know, you have emotional affection with these people, with this individual. So it's so difficult. But with support, with help, you know, you can come out. They don't so have that support. Yes. Unfortunately, in a place like That's Nigeria, it. that support is yes. not available. Exactly. That mm. is the issue. 
but hopefully, hopefully with time, with the awareness, we will get there. As I said, we will get there. Even I'm planning to maybe go into Nigeria to have some charity set up. So even if it is a baby step, because talking is good, but we need to also, Sister B, we need to also be on the ground to start doing something to start you, with, you, with you think i haven't thought about it you know how many times yeah. i've thought about it yeah. mm. Mm. i have yeah, thought yeah. about it honestly yeah i think it yeah will be, it, it will might be. take a few of us the aspirants to go to nigeria and establish you know yeah. systems I, in place and charities in place to help women definitely. but definitely. you sometimes i'm overwhelmed yeah. because the scope is so big and it's massive it's massive where are you going yeah. to start from That's so if somebody put something in our group today and i was laughing it was one uh aboki that said mm. it i said uh, all this one we're talking about lagos all the time we're talking about lagos southeast nigeria south south mm. if you go mm. to the north you will run mm. their own level of dva uh it's the one in the enough. south is learning work wow where are you going to start from where are you going to start from and you know what we need is funding. Hmm. Let me tell you, the funding, if we have funding, we have shelters, for instance. Yes. So you have shelters in this part of the world where if you are fleeing from a DV situation, they hmm. will put you and they your will... children temporarily. Exactly. Where There's is the shelter? There's a lot of policy in place. Yeah. There's a lot of Where's policy the in place. That no, which will... landlord are you going to tell that, okay, you put your house down so that we can put women that are fleeing so that they will pay you something, but it's not going to be... An... Our people are all about grabbing, grabbing mm -hmm. money, money, money. People don't want to do that. They don't. Yeah. It's not that people in the diaspora don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. People like you and I, we think about these things, we contemplate yes. on it. What can we do yes. to help our people? Oh, but help you feel handy. Let me tell you something. If I go to Nigeria mm -hmm. tomorrow, I bring up a proposal. My state mm. is a dual state, right? Yeah. I have a very robust proposal. Women in a dual state are suffering. They, this is going on in the home. What can we do to support? I support, I submit the proposal to a dual state government. Mm. And I ask for partnership, mm. funding, you know, cooperation for us to start a domestic, you know, family, children and family support group. Support know, refuge. Something that can mm. support women. Women. They will just toss it aside. They will not even look yeah. at it. They will toss it aside. They will. Yeah, all these Obodo yeah. people, they've come. Huh? They will come and have time for this. What to Have do. they finished sharing the money? Hmm. They've not finished sharing. They don't, people don't care. Until and we have do. leaders that care. Hmm. Until we have leaders with a, a leader with a heart. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, somebody said something. I think it, Cynthia said something, which is very, very true. Yeah. As much as we are complaining about all this, our leaders and this and that. The women are the worst. The people that support people like uh, Ajimod, Kemi, and uh, Blessing, they are mostly women. Mm. Women are the problem of DV. Mm. Women. Mm. Do you believe it? Men perpetrate DV supported by their, their, their mothers, their sisters, mm. and ordinary women because they see it as normal. So why are you complaining? Is you culturally, you? culturally, to become normalized culturally. Because when we say some of the women that may be supporting it, it's because, I, I, and this is not an excuse, but I would say that sometimes that is what they know. That is what people grow up with. Is that patriarchal society whereby if you speak out as like what you are doing now, that you'll be labeled. You, you'll be, we will be labeled that don't mind those people. They, so most of these people that are actually speaking out saying things is because they want to you know they're trying to work with the society that they're in like in the uk we know that if we speak out i used to go and train professional in my previous job i know <laughs> that if i speak out i, I would be uh, nobody will attack me they will listen to I you they will not listen to you i know i know that it, but in, in in Nigeria, sometimes you, you have to be careful of your safety, of your family's safety, of everything you, within. So, but I think it's about time that even those people in the highest places, like, you know, the politicians, they need to start understanding that this DV we are talking about 
it's going to affect their sisters. It's going to affect. Do their you think they don't have women in the house of in the house of in the house of what do they call their house of representative? Yeah, there are women yeah, there. Yeah, yeah they are. You see all the bills. Yeah. I saw women marching the other day. Yeah, I think they are called purple something purple women. I can't remember mm -hmm. the name of the organization. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine is a member of that organization. Mm. All the all the bills that they sponsor regarding mm. women and families, not one. I'm talking about over 60 bills. Not one of them passed the fault. They didn't, they throw it away. They throw it away. <laughs> yeah. Patriarchy. What can we say? Thank you so much, Afro Diaspora. I really enjoy talking to you. We'll continue to talk. We'll continue to do what we can to help our people. God bless you. Awareness. It starts from awareness. Yeah, we we'll start creating awareness. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, time is going very quickly. And I'm going to go to uh, Sister Ujo. I'm coming to you in a minute. Let me take Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Welcome. What do you have to say? Hi, Auntie B. Good morning. It's morning here in Memphis. Memphis. Is that where? Philadelphia? Or where? Memphis, Tennessee, USA. Tennessee, USA. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for all you do. We really appreciate you. The only thing I have to say here is uh, blessing CEO as um, this person they call him, Juice Lover. See, mm. <laughs> I, I like to like Juice Lover. Juice Lover. You Gis know, Lover she, play. <laughs> when she was talking to Daddy Freeze, she said she left her house with just a bag of Chanel. And that would make me realize, say, of course, you be true Who give her Chanel? Who give, where she from Chanel? Onira. You know because how much they say original Chanel bag? That, that, that woman can no, love Africa. No, listen, wait till everyone talks here. Because she, she went into that marriage with nothing. So she don't feel, feel the pain of, an, of a young adult when married at that tender age that gave her all to a man. We don't know with anything. In, in living, in living husband has with Chanel. Yes. Where is Chanel? She gets Chanel. So if you sit down, you don't get empathy. If you don't forget anything to talk, keep quiet. You don't have to say anything. You just they rob this girl name for inside mud. They spill no. Not to let the girl name. They rob the family. I don't want to me pass. The family. And to be, she see unless you did for that kind of situation, you know go know what it mean to struggle with man to do everything. Of course, I know she left the time when she make up her mind to come out. She buy ego pain person, but all of us will be woman. Make you struggle with one man. Make me call rich way for you to reap. Make that man come to say no, no, you with him again. And go forbid, make a carry, make a go carry sacrifice for one kind of man. You, you don't get my carry man. Ever. You, you carry ever. Mm -hmm. We start love one push you with that level. We need to come out and make a talk truth, give ourselves. As for that blessing, ah, I call it here. Why you? I call it here. Why you? Black bar alone. Black bar alone. I call it here. Why you? You come in husband house, you don't come with anything. Person will give her school fees and everything for man. You did it, they talk nonsense. You did it, speak. She never see anything. That's all I have to say. Make woman learn. Make we, make we learn how to be. Well, let me ask you this, Felicia. Eh? I, I can feel your passion. You, you, you're my kind of girl. How will we take get our women to support one another? I don't know. Because now we then you need a journey lesson. A woman be a journey lesson pass. You go see some women. I comment for your post one day. I thought we start with our sisters. When we go sit down on top bed, they rub her husband's hand for chest. They insult that other lady waiting for next door because we make our husband look at us and we wear good pass. How markets? Mm. How markets? We are always fond of doing that thing. We go to tell our husband, ah, you know, say me, I don't feel you that kind of thing. All because we make that man like us. Forget, say that man will still go outside, go do what he won't do. Me. My husband, they call me, say, I'll be feminist. Me, I'll be feminist for house. No, you know, when Nigerian people talk about feminists, they'll be like, say, nah, nah, something going bad. As long you as we're the healthy one, we believe in equality. You need, you need to see me and my husband. We argue, argue, I go like that for bed, sleep. <laughs> I'm telling you. We argue, <laughs> they argue, argue, go like that for bed, sleep. For head. <laughs> see, when it comes to matter of woman, me and my husband know, you know, they follow me talking because I will stand for where they write because I'm a woman too. Me, I don't feel the queen, no. I don't know about other people. Queen, they carry wahala for her too much. Me, not princess. No, call me queen. 
That princess may I be. I want me them pamper, make I find, make I wear ball gown. I'm not be cool over the code follow king. They, they scratch head, say how this this kingdom we will go rule this kingdom. Because you don't rule and rule and rule and they carry that mentality saying that we'll be saved, we will save all men. Where they push us, they go. I'm not in for all that. We need to learn our lesson. We need to come out and support each other. When one man can tell you, say, this is what I'm going through. Just keep quiet. Give her a shoulder to lean on. Listen to her. Don't judge her. Don't come out there and say things because you want me to look so you can say something. No. Keep quiet for once in your life and listen. Please. Thank you. Is, Felicia, oh. thank you so much. You know what? Try not to argue with your husband here. Try not to because all these things, uh, sometimes uh, we internalize them because of how passionate we are and it could come become you know something where it could come to affect our relationship try not to argue with your husband but you know when he's in a good mood make him understand where you are coming from okay because you know there are some people that naturally they are so triggered because they when something that seems unfair is happening to other people and it doesn't sit well with them I'm just like that. That's the kind of person I am. I don't need to know you. I will carry your fight for her. That, uh, like who carry? <laughs> I don't need to know you. I don't care. Once I understand, say somebody is trying to cheat you. Somebody is trying to be bad to you. You don't do anything. I will start. The, I will enter the fight. Too. Now fight when they no come me put nine days with me pass. So I understand, but you know what? The only way we can get men to understand is to talk to them from a place of understanding love especially if not members of your household though felicia thank you so much felicia Popola. you are amazing love you so much thank you i can feel the the passion you're very passionate sheila said auntie b beside politics not being in place for dv and child protection religion and culture enables these dv occurrences we need to start sensitizing these structures and gatekeepers. Absolutely, Sheila. I couldn't have said it. I, 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 there's no way I would have said it better. Thank you. That's so true. Culture, religion, tradition. Okay, if you am coming to you in a minute, let me take Uju. Uju is here. Thank uh, sister you. Sister Uju. Hello, sis. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sister B. Oh, my God. You guys are doing an amazing job. You're wonderful, Sister B. I appreciate you. Thank Sheila, you. well said. This is just exactly what I wanted to say. You know, mm -hmm. when the other caller was talking about, the one from UK was talking about her plans to go to Nigeria and yes. start something. It's mm -hmm. a very good plan. Mm -hmm. You know, the government may not understand. They may not be able to approve that. But we can start NGOs. And when we talk about NGOs, we can build shelters for those yes. women yes. going through DV. Mm -hmm. I saw a video, I think, on Linda Ikeji's page mm -hmm. of, a, of, a, of, a, of a, a young girl. She videoed her father. Yeah, I saw her, it. Yeah. I saw her mother. Uh, it, it, did you see, the one she was even lying on the bed, people were saying, this I, skinny man, why don't you stand up? This is what, my sister, would you, do you know what I just said about power and I, resources? Yeah. See, that woman, eh, on a good day, she can take that man on physically. Yeah. But because she's got nowhere to go, they say he's a pharmacist, he's the one that provides. Even the, do the daughter that was filming them did not film. I said, why didn't you put the video on the man's face? Let's see him. She said that when the man saw her holding the phone, he slapped he took her. It. And yeah, he took it. Phone. Yeah, I she was, she, the woman was just down. lying down. Yeah. She was lying down on the bed and this, this monkey was just throwing her. He was just punching, doing different things. I said, Chai, my gender, why? Now, so why? this same person will come back tomorrow, come tell you, say, uh, how far? You will open leg, make it a kid, why you? Exactly. We have and a lot of work to do. Our don't gender, their problem. They don't realize the damage their, 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 what their, their father hitting the mother is doing to the kids. Do you know some of those kids will grow up to be abusers like their dad that's not normal and some Absolutely. of them will decide yeah will decide uh not to do that because think about it this is all they know in nigeria they think is normal people kids growing up in homes like that think it's normal that is normal for a husband to be the wife so 
let me tell you, uh, studying NGOs, just like that woman, when I saw her, I cried because remember what the daughter said? The man is the breadwinner. She doesn't oh, yes. know where she a pharmacist that the woman has nothing in her name. Exactly. She's an illiterate. She didn't go to school. So she has no income. She has no employment. Nothing. And there are lots of women like that that are Absolutely. staying in such a situation because they don't have money. They don't have any place to go. So when we have shelters like that, at least these women will have a place to go. They know that if they take their kids, at least they have a shelter, some place, you know, a housing over their heads. It's not like Obodoyibo, you know, when you throw a woman out, if somebody doesn't have a place to go, think about what will happen to them. They're out there, something bad will happen. Kidnappers, killers. But when we start small NGOs that at least will have shelters for these women, it, is, it will go a very long way. Another thing I said this in my one of my videos in my channel, churches should start speaking up about DV. They will never, they will never. They, they should they start pro speak. providing shelter. I challenge, I challenge Pastor, uh, Pastor K on Instagram. When Osinachi passed, I said, you yeah. need to say something. She's like, you have a platform, so why can't you say something? I said, I am. But Nigerian women will respect you more because you have the, the title of a pastor. I am not a pastor. Do exactly. I need to go and get the pastor title? I said they will respect you more. Say something. And not even only saying something. They should provide accommodation for their church members. There are lots of their church members going through the same thing. They should have an open door, open door for these women to come and tell and share their stories. And they should be able to help them. Because what I've heard women say is, I don't have any place to go. So it's better they rather stay in that situation and buy because they don't want people to judge them. The church is that they go and they say, pray, 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 fast till uh, for, uh, 30 days fasting. And the woman is still going through the same thing. It's not only talking about what, what they is the woman. Why is always is, is the person that is suffering that they, they tell to go and do the work for the person that is that is abusing them? You see how ironic it is. Now you that is now you that will go fast. And pray. Exactly. That the devil is the devil, is the devil. And the woman will be there fasting and praying. Oh God, kill the devil that is affecting my husband. Kill the they are not providing therapies for this women. They are not providing counseling for them. You know, they are not providing anything for them because it's it, it is easier to tell them, go and pray. Pray. How how long will they keep praying? As they are praying, provide accommodation, take them out from that situation. You see. So the churches should get involved. I don't care. They should be saying something. They should be helping these women. And they should, all these men, they should be talking about them in churches. You see? So it's not like, okay, see Osinachi. It was last week that I was just thinking. I say, hey, Osinachi, I wonder how her, her kids are doing. And then this one. And many of other women are going through. I was thinking maybe we can. Uh, he occurred to me in the spirit for us to uh -huh. do some kind of fundraising for the yes. children but i don't know how people will take it oh. you know guys if you want us to we do can. some kind of even if it's one thousand pounds yes it's something I'll, the, the I'll pound is really really uh, to naira now today was like eight eight thirty one thousand pounds mm -hmm. now let me see how much is that that's a lot of money i kept thinking uh, also that is unforgettable how can we forget her my dear I was her. yeah i was i was i was thinking what I have a video. I already have a video that I'm going to play because I was asking what of Osinachi's children, you know? And somebody was like, when you don't put their faces, the, the children's faces, because YouTube don't, will not like it. So I, I, I'm trying to see what I can do to take the kids' faces Okay, out. guys, if you want us to do a fundraising for Osinachi, £1,000, please let me know. I, I'm interested. I will. Yeah, so £1,000 is, yeah. is not a lot. If all of us are con we have like a thousand and one hundred people watching people are not liking it, whatever you can give who can give hundred give if you can give 500 give you can give 10 because it's been in my heart honestly See, but i don't like to burden people to <laughs> say uh, let's do it thank god you mentioned it now sister would you honestly confirmation yeah. please if you want us to do it let's just do it yeah, because will. i'm thinking how are they going to cope Yes. How are these people going to deal with this? How, what would they do? What's she going through? What are these children? Are they even in school? Do they have access exactly. to therapy? 
Yeah, because the last I heard, I heard of this prophetess that wanted the sister to come. Oh, to please don't, don't talk talk to me about prof prophetess. Uh, uh, no, you please? yeah, that sister, the prophetess wanted to use that as a show. I don't want to to even hear about them because I know Nigerian most Horrible. of their prophetess and uh, and pastors all they care about is their returns on their tithes and offerings. What it is, yeah. No, but I'm, I'm talking about doing proper charity where you care about the people. Yeah. You care about them. Did you see the way we, we helped Joy the other day? Even though she, she turned out to be un ungrateful, it doesn't matter. It doesn't stop us. We move. Yes, please. We have to. Also, now she's still, yeah, they've, they've been on my mind. That video, I'll edit it and I'll post it too. Because All right. No what problem. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. You and just another thing, what please. Is... Yeah, another thing. Before I go, I want people to differentiate between natural and na reckless love. Talking about this, Bimbo, people will be recklessly in love with somebody. That is not natural love. Think about it, recklessness. It's it obsession. I beg, that one is not love. It's it is obsession. Not safe. And, right. and I, you know what? Let me tell you, looking at it holistically, would you, I can tell you that there are some things mm -hmm. from Bimbo's childhood why she had attachment issues. Yeah. That's an attachment issue. Because her friend who came on this so-called CEO's show said that she was mm. always like that, even with girlfriends. She clings and never let go. Wow. So that's a fundamental thing that was in psychology. There's something in her in her upbringing that made her like that. Okay, you are interested. Oh, thank you so much. A lot of people have indicated interest. We'll do it in one of my shows. All I need is 1,000 pounds. Oh, we'll or 1 million, 1 million naira. Let's say 1 million naira. Okay? We'll 1 million. Let's Thank just you. help them with one million. One million naira is not a lot for us yeah. here. If everybody just donates whatever they can. Thank Let me you, tell you so something much. About you. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not ordinary for somebody to be clinging. When you see somebody that's always clinging, they are afraid to let go. Yeah. It's something about attachment that they formed. It's something that it, it, it's got nothing to do with as much as I don't like IVD. It's not mm -hmm. anything to do with him. It's something that has to do with something that happened while she was growing up as a child. Why she yeah. felt the need to attach herself to people this way. Yeah. Never letting go. Anybody in her life, she holds on to you as if mm -mm, you can't leave me. Yeah. It's an attachment issue. True. And another thing is when somebody tells you, I can't live without you. If you leave me, I'll buy myself. Yes. Or I'll buy myself and buy you. That is a major red flag. Love. Yes, it is abandonment issues. Thank you, Cynthia. It is, it is not love. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. God bless Thank you, my sister. All right. We're, we're overshooting our time now, to be honest, because, oh my God, I've just texted my guests to say that, okay, we're going to start at eight because there's no way. I've got so many people in the studio, but this is important. She understands because she's an Ubudu fan. The Blooming Room, aren't you? God bless you. Thank you to everybody that is saying that they will contribute if we raise one million naira for Osenachi. God bless you. Please don't run away the day we are doing it. <laughs> Come, whatever you have, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty pounds, five pounds, fifty, it doesn't matter. This is charity. Give your tight to people who actually need it. Osenachi children need it. Let's do it. I, you know, I always said the ball rolling. I will set the ball rolling. I will put my own to a beg. Let's do it. Let's help them. They need it. The sister, the twin sister is there in the east now. How is she going to cope with four children? And you know what? As sad as Osinachi's case is, Ife, Osinachi has opened doors. Even as she she's she, she still doing ministry in her. In, in, even though she's deleted, her life is still a ministry because... The person that came online and said, I don't want my mother to be like Osinachi. Do you know what that means? Mm, yeah. It's, it's inspiring. Her life mm. and deletion is inspiring people to come forward. We can never mm. ever forget Osinachi. Absolutely. Absolutely, Auntie B. Um, can you hear me though, Auntie B? Yes, good, ma good, afternoon, good afternoon from here. Um, you know, I I had to, first of all, let me just say that we remember the people who died at Lekito Gate. May their soul continue to rest in peace. Today is the Amen. second year anniversary for them. Yeah. Um, and um, Auntie B, I cannot agree with you more uh, when you say that, um, you know, how, how do these people cope with these children that they leave behind, all of these uh, DV uh, victims? Um, you know, I the video of Bimbo's children, I saw those two little kids that ran away from through the gate 
and their mom was like, mama, come, mama, come, come, mama, those two little kids. I mm. wonder where they are now. I wonder what they're going through right now. You know, I just, I, I always say to myself, these kids did not ask to be, brought, uh, to be brought into this world. They didn't ask to. All of these things that they're subjected to, people end up, um, you know, producing damaged human beings in a society. You know, like you said, Bimbo must have seen some things while she was growing up. There are some reasons why she has, um, you know, she, she had the tendency to self-destruct. She had the tendency, to, this attachment issue was something. Yeah. And so it was hard for her to see that Ike Tuku doesn't like her one yeah. bit. Yeah. Ike Tuku was just there to use this girl for a book. That's what, and you know, I also want to say to blessing Idigonlebe. You know, ah. the, the, the girl does not understand you, but I you hope say, she, you know. you brude, if, he, if I'm in Nigeria, she be in Abuja, she be. In Abuja, she be. Uh, yeah. She be in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. being boss sister is in Abuja. Treat oh. her effort properly. Oh, no, the way Nigerians no, understand it, because a lot of Nigerians who live in that country, they are crazy. Ah, so you need money. to meet them at the point that they will understand. Exactly. You know, Auntie B, I have a, I have a fake uh, Twitter account. And I have my very professional Twitter account. Sometimes I just want to be a typical Shomolu Lagosian girl. If you, I, hold on a minute. Let me just put this out. Uh, okay. Sister, would you start it? Anybody that wants to donate to the 1 million fund we are raising for if, uh, Osinachi, Osinachi. The, the details are here. Let's start now. We might mm -hmm. as well start. You know what? Mm -hmm. Sister, if you started it, and yeah, let's get it started mm -hmm. now. Yes. If you want to donate, PayPal, Cash App, Nigeria account, please don't do super chat. That one is to YouTube. <laughs> and if you don't just, do super chat, uh, leave it pinned on the screen. Don't don't move yeah. this um this thing. Yeah, just, just do the on ones on the screen, please. Zoo, mm -hmm. thank you, Suzanne. But this one is better because I can literally just withdraw the money and send it. I will find mm -hmm. the contact of the family, and then we'll get somebody who's an Obodo farm in Nigeria. We have Obodo farm everywhere that will go and present it. I'm not in Nigeria. We'll find an Obodo farm in Nigeria that will go to the system and present the one million naira. You guys will see it. We'll video it and show you. No, on social mm -hmm. media, only on the uh, Obodo farm. All right. So yeah. if you want to donate to Osinachi, please let's do it. Thank God. Very, Thank very God. important. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, if you go ahead, you say you I have want fake to be. I have fake Twitter accounts for when I want to be an admiral. Eh? Tell me I, mean, I, have the, I have the one with my name. Like I, you know, everybody sees and they be like, I oh, look this fine girl with with uh, better girl we get class. And there's another one that I use in any movie book I make pa lano. Go fund me. go fund me. You know, this woman came on and said something like, um, you know, this investigative journalism. Um, um, I'm Dr. Camel lawyer. Dr. Camel lawyer. In my mind, people will be original doctor said then. I didn't I mean, know doctor. And you know what? That her doctor is fake. She no get doctor. Go, Auntie B, not be different. When person different be like BSC, eh? Before, before, eh? What they do is when you go to pre-med or something, then you go to farm, pharmacy school for like maybe two or three years. Then they put different there or they put farm. Until recently, even when you go to places like Canada or America now, you can do it as a, so they'll not put D farm like just to make them feel, feel cool with themselves. They, so, I mean, it's like BSC. And you know, the way this woman is so obsessed with that doctor title, Monique Lon She Wumai, to buy a pony in conscience, you are going to love she chemist. I'll be pharmacist. To your mother, come at all. Come at all. Pharmacist. Pharmacist. More, more pharmacist than pharma. became investigative journalist. You know, and you know what? She said she belonged to one uh, journalism, whatever, whatever in Canada. Those ones came out and they said, We don't know you. <laughs> Those ones, it was David no, Honey. David Honey no, went. Know. Really, David Onde went and investigated and found out that Kemi never belonged to any journalism, whatever. She was never a journalist. She's never, she's not even a journalist. Because, you know, journalism, when my man, she got on fit one day, talking she investigative journalism. Oh, yeah, they were. When it, well, guys, you know, it costs so much, so much to do the this. Post. Not and it's the post. I mean, posting, literally, the way I read it in my head. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it. You know, she's it's begging social for money. media. She doesn't have money for... Make her say the way Nigerians say data. She doesn't have money for data. She not even get money. God forgive you. She, she not get money for data. She not even get the one where she go to pay her rent for that house where she they live for lucky. And you know, of course, I you know on that her uh, Twitter, I went to her and I told her point blank. Like if you need money, just tell Nigerians to donate to you. Tell them to feed you. This whole idea of feeding off of bimbo may her soul rest in peace. 
This one will not sell, Mama. Echo I will write it in Yoruba, I will write it in English. Kami no fed your fake account, me soon. I want Twitter. Oh, 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 Looking hungry and all of that. It was Kemi who told her, come, come, let me teach you how to make the best out of the worst situation. I can mm. make you, you know, you just have to trend with it. You know, you don't, don't have shame. There's no shame in this business. No, no bad press is bad press. Every bad press is good press or whatever. And it was Kemi who trained this idiot to always be on the other side of the, of the, of the, of the, of the opinion of she people. Chose, she chose a very wrong, a very wrong mentor. But but Auntie B, you know these people are, are inspired by money. The avarice that they show that oh, they, they don't exhibit. get it though. They it's don't really get money. Look at the... Kemi. All the money she got from Don Davis and all the other people she's supporting. Ibo lo badi. Eh, mo pe ani o eni to man fi bo boy kaje oni Kemi ni. Kemi looks like somebody you give like ten thousand dollars to and she'll spend it in one day. She will blow it in one day. Kemi, I'm sure doesn't even have any savings to start with. So you see these two women. Money and it is a batita. I'm a water and to my budget. Borrow and we did you. These two are birds of the same feather, and then they, you know, they, they, everybody, everybody's in my way. We're allowing you. Can anybody, Mama Car, but you know, it is so yeah. shameful that my they are. Is that they took her accounts. They oh, took no, her they took accounts. And, and you know, can we have to move back to Twitter? Be TikTok. Once I have to go, I'll go TikTok. Huh? Blessing, no, I think blessing, they... blessing, blessing. Where the therapist was uh, the first, uh, they took her main account. She opened uh -huh. another one, they took that one too. Oh, dear, that come on, Mulo Ben. Tio Bassi social media, one people you need young, but you know, they have no voice, no, no, they don't have no initial for Kondo War. And I want the one that got to me, if he, yes, yes, and to be. It's not only trolling a bin bola, which yes. I was saying, Tomo, he the, was the everything she went through. She was, lived a troubled life. And yeah, that is it. And you know, the one that made me start to shed tears, it was the one, one of these videos that my friend from the UK sent to me, where Kemi started bad mouthing, bad mouthing bin boss mother. I saw that woman's video, that Bimbo's mom, when she was, you know, talking to Ikechuku and saying, what is it gone? What is it gone? Ikechuku was trying to pay her, woman, woman, no, woman. Oh, no, woman, no, yeah, Balagba. Balagba, yeah, woman, no. Auntie B, did you hear Kemi when Kemi said, woman, I don't listen to her. Yeah, you know, I got a TikTok video from my friend in the UK and Kemi started talking nonsense. I started talking about Bimbo's mom being the architect of the problems in the family. And I started shedding tears. This woman just lost her child. And what are you doing? Demonizing this woman? And it was a for you to come on. Oh, Paramo. Oh, what's your TikTok? Oh, so Iran. Me, you tell me, Robert, I'm going to be Kemi here. I'm going to be Kemi. Fanny, can you tell me, Robert, I'm going to be Robert. 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 You know, if people think about their last day on earth, if people live their lives every day like it's the last, they will live better. Amen. When people live for their stomach, they make the wrong decisions, actually. And, and for me, the, you know, I, I, it's, it's the height of depravity for people to come out and just demonize. I want to quickly point out, though, I had my master's degree in South Africa. I attended the University of Natal, where I got my master's degree. And, you know, while there doing my master's degree, People like uh, this Ikechuku want to go on the Bobo streets. You know, yeah. the lives that we lived as intellectuals was different from the lives that the likes of Ikechuku lived. And we lay Igboro ni won yato sa won mota South. In fact, I won go ni won mota South Africa. Lazy people who don't want to work, they will go there and just you know ruin everything for Nigerians who are there to do you know honest days work. People who are there to study. There's no doubt Nigeria cannot measure up to South Africa when it comes to research. Four out of my academic papers, four out of many of my academic papers were published while I was doing my master's in South Africa. And yet you will see people like Ike Chuku, all of them, they will go there and start messing things up. I want to know my me, um, powder fufu, Nibobo Street, from South Africa. You know, most of the 
ise buruku ta awon south africa man se bi pe kon lo kon lo ja le kon pa yan awon bi kechuku yi na na man pin powder fufun yen ka ki ri gbogbo street ta awon south africa fi man to ba ti fa ton ba won ni mo nkan ton se mo and when you fun olo fe ni agbon mo ma gbo lo gbo ni won ma nta ni won ma nta fun awon awon kechuku yi na ni pe awon to man pin ka ki ri la rin and that's why south africans don't like nigerians it's because of people like this ikechuku Hello, man. La Julie, come on by. Luje Molara. Yeah. You know, of course, Ike Chuku. According to what I learned, got somebody pregnant while he was in South Africa. That's what most of these Nigerian lazy, most of these lazy Nigerian men. They are hardworking Nigerian men in South Africa. I mean, once I finished my masters in South Africa, I headed out of the country. I just couldn't stay there. I mean, there were so many lazy Nigerians there. People like Ike Chuku who were there for that purpose. Bimbo, but Ike Chuku when Ike Chuku got another woman pregnant. That's when Bimbo should have left. Immediately, you know well, what you I was know. thinking. If it, yes. God, God gave them several opportunities to be apart. Oh, for gosh. instance, Matobi, when she had three kids and Ikechuku was taken to South Africa, that would have ended it. But absolutely, she still she knows her own way. Oh, lose or more. Oh, no, you many. Oh, no, you. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, you. Oh, no. Titi, titi, you have a bad jesse. Lara. Oh, 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 Telling people it's cultural day and walking around the market on barefoot as if she has no slippers. I mean, anybody to buy loju no mama peko and she last song and went bottom man roof only and went yet on she. According to this lover, they said she does the main one in the night and then the one for the during the day is the one where she has to walk around the market. Ike Chuku, I sent him a message on Instagram yesterday with my fake account, of course. I don't have a, a legal account on, on, and I sent him a message. I said, hey, turn yourself in if you haven't done that. Well, they say he's been arrested. Oh, People I don't know. Been arrested. Well, I, sent yeah. him a message on, I sent him a message on Instagram yesterday. I said, man, mm. turn yourself in. I addressed him as one name. I said, turn yourself in. Because no matter where you run, you will pay for what you've done. To this no, girl. The wicked, no, the wicked cannot go unpunished. Uh -huh. hey, they cannot go unpunished. Even if the dear. laws of the land does not catch you. The laws of God Almighty, karma will catch you. It's certain. It's that certain. is true. Uh, that is true. Where is he you know, going to run to? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. When I they come from it. you, but Mali say, where you going to run? Where you going to run? Where they come from you? When yes. they come for you, there's nowhere you will run to. There's nowhere for Ike Chuku to run. I think it's time for people to start telling him that. I had to send him a personal message yesterday, and I said, hey, you uh, can't You don't even need to bother yourself. Feel it. Because, Feel because it. He will get what is coming to him. Oh my Everybody God. that is standing up now, Tomba family, Ija, that is the Martins family, without knowing what they've been through and not empathizing. Yes. You, yes. You, you are not going there to, 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 yes. to, to mourn with them, to comfort yes. them. You are yes. tracking them on social media. Yes. Ah. Some people, no, eh, when they go buy market, eh, they know they know that they buy market. Market when nobody around, they go buy them. Exactly. And, you know, I just wish more people can, you know, Kemi has no conscience anyways. But, you know, I feel like the more people, in fact, there will be a time, I will, I'm even probably going to report our account on Twitter. Because she's always looking for a safe space to go and market that fake journalism. She's on Twitter now, you know, posting stuff there. Come she on, on on Insta she blocked me on Instagram after she lied oh, against me. Oh. She said I was using her videos. That me, all my videos are always about her. Only, only, only. <laughs> so she knows <laughs> you. <laughs> what content does she have? Tell me, look. Ah, <laughs> <she> <laughs> she <laughs> tell you. Oh. No, mm. we're not sure. No, we're not Blessing, you know. In fact, me, me, oh, tell more. It rig be a rep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Even when you know, you know, she's she's craving for notoriety. She offer what notorious going on here. Benny, she wants Benny. to be known for something. I don't even know. I don't even know what the level of. I mean, we know about the one that says I'm Dr. Camille lawyer. I'm Dr. Camille. It won't yet. She's not lived in America for over uh, God knows how many years. But that accent, cooking change, Joe. No, because Nigerians, you know them now. They watch the accent. America has said, told the war, America could walk Canada. Why is it she still in Nigeria? If she can't travel, then you go to Tun Jory and your wife of it was in Nigeria, Tun Bebe, your social media account. And to be more sure, I'm sure our politicians, the corrupt ones, are learning. I mean, if all of them are not careful, all their children. That's what somebody said, though. 
they will end up like Kemi. To our father. Really? Come on. Mm -hmm. They'll end up like Kemi. They'll end up like Femi, Fanny Coyote, all those people who do who, who tell lies to make money just to feed themselves. It's a, it's a, it's a learning point for, for our politicians. Let them continue to do their corruption. Their children will end up like Ajimot. Oh, my Lord, Patia, my dear, my dear, my dear, my dear, I am so happy. I'm so happy that people like Just Lover have stepped in. Just Lover is amazing. She doesn't mess around. God, God yeah, will continue no. to bless Jesus Lover and made me be boss children. I know that maybe when we finish with this um us in a cheese children, we can move to being boss children because I can yes. assure you, Auntie B, that yeah. those children are not going to get a dime from this wicked guy. Does it know, the even, point is that he doesn't even have it anymore. Uh -huh. Okay, so the children will need money too. So let's let's have have it it anymore. Anymore. Uh, only has one house and the house oh, Auntie Jolie, Kilo Auntie, Auntie Jolie. Auntie Jolie. He, they don't have money anymore. Yeah, please, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. Have thank, a wonderful thank day. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, darling. Right. God bless you, my darling. I appreciate you. The details are on the screen if you want to donate to the 1 million fund that we are doing for Osinachi's children. Please send your own. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. As God lays it in your heart, send it. We are going to get someone who lives in the area. We'll find their details and we'll get someone. You know, when we get money to joy, I was not there, but the money was delivered. So to get somebody to deliver money is not is not uh, difficult. Chida Spina, your connection is not good, though. Can you adjust it so I can come to you very quickly? We're about to end. Let me come to Jola. Hello, Jola. Good evening, Auntie uh, B. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Welcome. Today is a slightly yeah. sad day in Lagos. Two years since yes. NSA, so the mood is yes. a bit down. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, I, about I saw the video of M. Spoduomo with his potopoto mouth that he said, I want to cool. 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 They can't admit the truth. The truth is a crime. So they have to mm. lie. Yeah, but about this topic, I think there's something that we don't talk um, enough about, and that's people sort of like mental, <laughs> mental states. And how they grew up. I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of there's a very disturbing relationship Nigerians have to power, um, and power dynamics, and it shows itself in governance, but also in our intrapersonal relationships. So there's a way that people react or behave when they believe they have power over people, and that's why abuse, whether physical or very extreme cases like IVD and bimbo, but also in other cases where you have um physical, emotional, psychological abuse. You see, like you hear a lot of it, our understanding of relationships is not very normal. Um, and so when people like you are talking, there's a reason there's a lot of pushback because people see, don't see, don't think of relationships in the way they are supposed to. It's always yeah. a power struggle or a power tussle or a fight um, mm. to remain on top. And I was, a friend of mine is always saying how Nigeria is such an abusive place that a lot of men can't control their environment. And they are very frustrated, but they feel like they can control the home. So they come home and have very terrible, horrible, abusive, reactionary behavior that they can't exhibit their anger outside. So a man will be angry at home in a way he can't be angry in public. He can't fight the police. He can't fight people that are abusive towards him. He can't fight an unfair boss. Or he can come home and assert his dominance in a very um, specific way. Um, but then what you said about um, helping and domestic violence and abuse and raising money and why people why people don't help. I think, unfortunately, we have a trust deficit in Nigeria. So people don't trust mm -hmm. people to do the right thing. You've seen it before. You've tried to help people and they mm -hmm. turn around and lie. It's true. They turn around it's and lie. They turn around and pretend. She I've done a lot of that, 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 She did, though. She said, uh, uh, you that didn't they give you, you, you for a long time. Don't mm -hmm. worry. I watched I've been following you for a very she long time. Care. <laughs> now, ah, it's yeah. difficult to, well, it's think, not I an think, easy thing I think it's I think that's part of it people people sometimes want to help but they don't then also sorry this is my final point there's a there's an obsession with perfect victims by that I mean that I've noticed that even though people are not um perfect and anti-b in and of themselves they they believe that people that are in somebody like being boss position 
they need to be completely helpless. They need to behave a certain way, look a certain way for them to be, for them to have um, compassion. Do you understand what mm. I'm trying to say? Mm. So, well, because Bimbo story doesn't look like this, like, um, so Bimbo, Bimbo went into a relationship willingly when she was much younger with this guy. Bimbo has fought him. Bimbo has allegedly done rituals for him. So she's not she's not a perfect victim. She's not. You, yeah. It's, it's people who don't understand how to have compassion. Yeah, for there always, is there any perfect victim? Osinachi didn't do any of this. Was she a perfect victim? But no. But that's what I'm saying. That somebody like Osinachi. Does she blame Osinachi, her for not leaving? Because yeah. Because Osinachi's point is extreme. People find it easier to have compassion. With Bimbo, it's not the same. In that they feel like she brought it on herself. On but the herself, truth is, yeah. Bimbo, mm -hmm. A, a woman's love for you, a woman's momoness for you, does not give you license to treat her badly. You mm -hmm. Understand what I mean? The story would mm -hmm. be different if he had, if he had decided to be a good person to her. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I think mm -hmm. that Nigerians, Nigerians look for perfection in the weirdest. It's the same way people are refusing to support Peter Obi because they'll say, "Eh, eh, we can't see his plan." Of the three, who is the best? Let's be realistic. In Bimbo's case, was she was she put in a position where her partner was cruel or wicked or mean to her? Yes. So what we need to think about is how to get women out of those situations regardless. If somebody is not perfect, if somebody has made mistakes, somebody has done wrong, they should always feel like even if I've done it, even if I've done a bad thing, even if I mean even if I've done things that are not acceptable, if I'm being put in a position where my life is in danger, people will help me. And I think that's what is sometimes difficult for people to click. They will say things like, "Why have you ever met a 15-year-old? Have you ever met a 15-year-old? Do you know what people can? I'm 30 years old. And it takes a lot for me to remember that I shouldn't believe what people just people say to me just like that. Talk less of a 15-year-old that has been groomed for 19 years. So I don't know, Auntie B. Sometimes I think that the work you are doing is very, very hard because... Nigerians are it's very not, interested in the way we it is, the way we, it is our mm. thinking is not actually what if you sit down and think about the way Nigerians um, why why are we so susceptible to abuse? In a sort in a country where people will say they are beating you. Imagine if you grew up in a home where your dad will beat you and say he's beating you because he loves you. Yes, how do you, you correction has slap? Okay, so when you now go somewhere else and you're in a situation where somebody says he's shouting at you because he loves you, when he gets angry and beats you, it's because he loves you. How do you know the difference? Which one is now different? Mm. Yeah. Why is that one very different? confusing? Oh, very, not, very we're confusing. Mm. We're not really raised normally, and TV, and so sometimes yeah. no, the environment, yeah, the society, a lot of things are wrong. It's going to take another generation to turn it around, but the work is being done. More women are Please. understanding now that it's not normal for you to be in situations like that. And one thing I must say, thank you so much, Jola, my darling. God bless you. Thanks for calling. Um, is that Nigerians are very generous people. Black people generally are very generous, but Nigerians are particularly very, very generous. Nigerians give. I was listening to a short video today that somebody shared a Yubo woman that went to Nigeria and said he's married to a man from Akwa Ibon and said, a woman who didn't have food gave me her own food. And she said, ah, this Niger, I'm going back there. This is where I want to live the rest of my life. She believes so much in Nigeria. One of her, her sisters shared it on, on YouTube. Yeah, I saw that video. So, yeah, but... You only behave or you act the way you know. The only reason why I'm talking like this is because I understand this a bit deeper than the average person. So don't get upset when you see people on social media and they are just running their mouth. That's why, you know, I don't even get involved. I see very ignorant mumu comments up and down from mostly women. But this is the level of the understanding. You don't get into an, a, a, an argument or a disagreement with someone that you know, they will never understand where you are coming from. They won't because they don't have the understanding or the knowledge that you have. It's a waste of time and energy. No need. So thank you to everybody that sent Super Chats. I'm seeing Super Chats. We've got almost uh, 200 pounds already. We are going to, I'm going to be doing it in subsequent videos as well until we get to 1 million. It's 1 million one will give us in our cheese children. Please. Mm -hmm. I've not done this in a while. And Sister Uju, Sister Uju brought it tonight, although it's been in my mind, but I did want to. Because I was thinking, I don't want all the time to be coming to say, give, give, give. But you know what? It's in giving that we receive. Thank you so much to those who have given. Whatever you can, nothing is too small. Nothing. If God blesses you, you can give 500. Give. If you can give 200. 
hundred, fifty, ten, one dollar, one pound, one euro. Nigerian account is there. Put it there, twenty thousand, ten thousand. It doesn't matter. By the time we put all together, we'll get one million. We will. I'm sure of that. We will by his grace. Thank you so much, everyone. All right, Chida Spana, I'm going to end the show with you. Welcome. Make it uh, for making it us, uh, with us today. I haven't seen you on the studio for some time. Can you hear me? Chida Spina. I can't hear you. Can you guys hear her? I can hear you very well. Okay, I'm hearing you now. Go ahead. Yes. I said I've been catching up. I've been binging. And I've been so angry on my own. Nowhere to vent, you know. Before I continue, let me just share a testimony. I think this is the right place to share the testimony about the about the school of Obodo Ivo. Amen. You know, I I I I I, I referred somebody by sending um the the um link the link, and since then they I send regularly and they've been watching, and this is somebody whom I know um has been experiencing dv for a while a very pathetic case a very beautiful girl married a serious mongo pack that if you look at you would think you just sit on and just you know anyway um somebody brought it to my attention that this is this guy that i should please talk to her because of my day job so i get i i, I made contact because i do know her through a cousin she's friends to a cousin so hmm. we spoke and everything. She, 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 she did tell me about the DV, but she didn't disclose much. And she was hesitant to leave. Mm -hmm. Out of the blue, mm -hmm. this girl sent me a message after how many years mm -hmm. that, um, can I talk? If I can't, please, I should give her a call when I'm, when I'm able to. So I gave her a call. She was all over the place. But mm -hmm. what she did say was, thank you for the video that you've told me that you've been sending to me but as it uh, right now i have strength i can now leave if mm. only i have been watching the video before now if only i've been watching if I only i had known about ubodo you both since mm. i wouldn't have been in the mess that i am in now but i want to leave and she was we were putting heads together on how she can leave the, it's not that one is advocating for women, a woman to leave her marriage. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. no. But this one was just too much. Mm. Just too much. He sits on her money. He controls her. He beats her. He locks her up. He cheats on her. He sleeps around. All sorts. The 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 the, the list of what can happen in a do in a DV situation or intimate it's partner endless. by is endless. It's endless. She has experienced, if not virtually, all of them. Hmm. Yeah. So with this being born matter, yeah. Honestly, Did you get when her I was connected, does she have children? She does have three children. Did she get connected to social services for support? So she, she can was assess her... therapy and she... housing and all that. She she did she was hesitant with that. However, she said she is she's got she works. That's the beauty of it. One thing she put her feet down, she he wanted to stop her from working. Because they moved eventually. He now moved her out of area that he felt she had people that were influencing her. So mm -hmm. in, a, in a bit to isolate her. But luckily mm -hmm. she still had contact. Anyway, so what she's moving out. Um, she was supposed to give me a call back. I mm -hmm. need to follow that up. Yeah, she you needs know? to be careful so, because moving out is usually when, you know, is danger. Yeah, she needs to be very, but, very careful. Let but, her do it in a way. That's why it's good to involve mm, services so that she will get the police true. when she's moving out for protection. No, that that I have told her to do, and she yeah. has she she has got it on record. Yeah, there are two she incidents needs, she on needs record. To be careful because sometimes yeah. things happen when people are about because now he if he knows that she's about to move out, she can be in danger. So tell her to be yeah. extremely careful. Yeah. Definitely. Sometimes it's good to just move when when they least expect. Expect yeah, exactly. when you calculate their timing, you know when they are not going to be around. Mm, take your children, okay. minimal possession that you can carry in one go. Don't come back for property or load. Just exactly. whatever you can take that can fit into your car. If you don't and have a car, get a taxi. Everything you can take, put it inside yeah. and go yeah. and disappear. Change your number. 
make sure they can't reach you because trust me if they can reach you they can beg you like you beg you to come exactly back. exactly you see with that with this bimbo's case i have a lot of sympathy for her remember she was a child when she ran away a very stubborn one at that yeah. But it doesn't stop it. She was a child. All she knew was that she loved somebody. And that is the problem. That love, that selfless love that she was willing to let go of everything and everyone. And if the, I, 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 if the stupid I, 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 IVD or HIV, if the, <laughs> if the stupid HIV You person, mentioned it now, you know, blessing. Blessing even went to the extent of publishing a so-called result to say that uh, IVD doesn't have HIV. That's how I far she went. I am, coming to, I, am co I am coming to that one. In fact, those people, eh, they, they are competing to take over from the devil. You know, even the devil has a bit of conscience because he uses persuasion. This blessing and her, her mentor, you know, they are worse than the devil. No conscience whatsoever. They are all about the bag. They are all about the bag. And to her being, and I don't even blame them. It's the people that give them platform to, read, to amplify their voice that is even a problem. How can you be listening to dim-witted human beings? No scruples whatsoever. These are women that have no scruples. They stand for nothing and they will fall for anything. Anyway, anyway, just go. You are distracting me. Sorry, I. <laughs> you are your children. <laughs> I'm all, you know. So you see, with this, with this blessing, yeah. Yeah, from these little snippets I have seen and from what from the videos and all that, there was a lot of coercion, a lot of grooming, covert and overt abuse was going on. She's been living in this situation, even I'm sure before she married him. It's like that rat that will bite you, yeah, and then be and blow blowing you. air. It will blow yeah. you, it will be sweeting you. It will be sweet to you. you if that is exactly this HIV man. You understand? And that was what kept her there. To be honest, there are a lot of people that have been in her kind of situation, but they met a good soul. A soul that appreciated that this person has done, has done, gone above and beyond, has sacrificed her family for them, and they will show appreciation and put her on a pedestal. Not that they won't have their own issues, but not the one that this useless man has shown her. It showed he never cared from the very beginning. She was just a meal ticket, you know? And I was analyzing it. And just like you mentioned, Auntie B, I do agree that there was some attachment issues or there was something mm -hmm. lacking yeah. that was making her susceptible yeah. to his deceit, to yeah. his lies. Yeah. And you know, and for her to be going back for more, I feel there was some something going on. But then again, a lot of sweet mouths from his own end. And another yeah. thing again eh, that people are not remembering is that they were hooked on this banner together. Exactly. Have you worked with people that hooked on banner? Have you worked with them? In, oh in, yes, oh yes. They stick Very together. Eh? Nothing they yep. separate. They will, they will quarrel. They will fight. They will come back together because that banner is something that, is, that joins that, people together. That Addiction. Is, that, yeah. In fact, and that addiction, I have had, I have worked with a lot of cases where the lady will be pimped by the so-called man to do anything for him. To go and bring money for, for the banner that we're bring, talking about. Yeah, yeah that's, another, and bring money. that's another layer of it that a lot of all these mumu people are not looking at on social media. Exactly. They are just talking rubbish. And, do you and know what is, it means? Exactly. So if she's hooked on that, that alone would be something for her to be going back to do anything for him. More so if he's maybe pretending to be going through withdrawal symptoms. Oh, I'm going to die. All this. And she makes her feel like she is his savior. And that is why she went to work in the market without food. Because he made her feel at one point she was his savior. At, at the same time, he made her also feel inadequate. So she so, would do anything. 
what happens like that, I mean, when you do that to someone, they become very confused. Exactly. Because it's exactly. like you are giving them love in one hand, and the other hand, you are tearing them down. Even yes. to children, it happens. They become very yes. confused. And Mentally, they are messed I... up. They don't know what to do. They don't know. They Seriously. don't even know. Bimba was very, very disturbed. She was disturbed. Very. In fact, I really, I really um, toiled. I was driving for four hours, and all I was thinking of was this lady. I was just thinking of this lady, just putting different scenarios. And for everybody who is quick to run their mouth or quick to use their hand on the on the on a keyboard. First of all, put yourself in that woman's situation. She was clearly vulnerable from the very get-go. She didn't have a chance because the man involved was a bad human being. He had a very bad heart. And for her to be, to, 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 to be working the market for somebody, he mm. must have made her feel he, it was all coercion and the Do you know, you, have, you been, have you been to Nigeria market before? These are not uh, oh. going to shopping in Obodo Yibo where is a mall. Everything is concrete. That was what, everywhere that, is that, clean. Me, me, I'm wondering how did, did Nigeria she, she market pot -pot -pot was she, everywhere? This one is was not she even doing it in the night? Was she doing it in the night? Because no, I no, care that some people go na naked. No, they what won't... this lover said is that during the day, she would do this one, okay? So she does this mm. one during the day, then in the night. You know the main, the, the main ebo is at night. Orula and Sheka, the people that you're over here will understand, is in the mm. evil happens at night. Anything satanic and evil happens at night, right? Mm. So they yes. can't do that during the day. So they need to wait. For to so, she, so she goes at night. So she does this one in the day, then in the night she will go and do the other mm. one. This one she and, does in the day, and, and then at night she will yeah. do the other one. Oh my goodness! So and you see, so people should understand why she stayed, because she stayed for the fear and the unknown. What will happen? And then her also her own sweat. If she had done all this, all this, if she had. Put herself on the line. If basically, she has put herself in a coffin for him while she was still living. She was already a corpse, and she knew she was already a corpse, but walking alive. And then this man would show her that kind of disrespect and treat her like garbage. Ah. Thank you so much, uh, mm. Peter Spina. Uh, thank you. Me, I, I see that you me. sent your own donation already. I think you. Oh, thank I so have. Much. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. You. Let me just say one thing. Let me just say one thing before I go. I say a lot of people in that kind of situation, it is a very complex situation. So getting up and going would not necessarily be the easiest thing for them. If there is anybody who is aware of a situation going on like this, these people would not disclose to you that she's even disclosed to a friend about walking this, the, the market. That, that is even amazing. But what did the friend do with that knowledge? You see? So for people who have somebody that is going through such, if they are not able to leave or disclose or do whatever, all you can do is to befriend them and be there. A time will come when they will open up. And yeah. Yes. And once they open up, please do the needful. Thank you thank so you. much, Auntie. Thank you so much. We've had another course today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Wishing your friend all the best. Please keep helping, giving her advice. Signpost her. I don't know why people don't want to go to services. You should use the services. They are, they are here for a reason. In Nigeria, they don't have, I mean, they are not effective. But here that you have them, some of us do still want to tap into it. Use the services. Okay? If you have local organization within your area, and you're supposed to them, use them. This is what they get funding for. You want to do it by yourself. I don't know why women do that. We always want to do more than ourselves, that we are strong, we are powerful. <laughs> but you need help sometimes, please. Allow the services that are in place that have been paid for this purpose to help you. They are here for a purpose. Even if you are working, you've got your money now. Okay? Right. Uh, Sissy, you are my last but not the least caller on this episode because oh. I gotta go because we got another show. Come on, oh Sis, how are you? Where are you joining us from? 
the United States. You're welcome. How is the United States today? You guys have rain? It's good. No, but the weather is cold. Oh, welcome. Thank you, Auntie B, for having me. Like, my heart has been pounding. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Oh, should I go? Hey, yeah. No, stay <laughs> by all means. Stay, stay. Don't go. We love to hear from everyone. See, um, this being boss story. Hmm. Anyway, I'm the last call. I don't want to keep you, but this being boss story resonates with me, kind of. And mm -hmm. this would have been me like 10 years ago, but God saved me. Amen. So when people come for bimbo, I'm like, you guys don't understand. You have not yeah. walked in her shoes. So you might just want to say, why you know wrong? Why? It's, it's easier said than done. Amen. You know? Because sometimes it's not even, okay, even when we look at it from the surface level, let's, let's say, okay, we're not talking about it spiritually. Now maybe something was, or they were doing stuff together. That's why she's, sometimes as women, you know, some, you'd say it most of the time that we think we can save people. We have this Messiah complex. We want oh, to yes. save the world. Oh, we yes. want to save everybody. Uh -huh. And this thing, everybody is emphasizing on love, love, love. Over the years now, I've come to process this thing. Sometimes these things are not love because uh -huh. most of us enter into this relationship when we were younger. So you might just be naive. You don't uh -huh. understand what you're doing and you get yourself hooked up with somebody that... Let me backtrack and just say my own story and relate it with Bimbo. This, um, oh, can people take people's glory? Sometimes we foolishly give out things we don't even know what we are giving out. Hmm. I will use myself as an example. I was the one that went to church. Nobody sent me. Oh. Now me carry myself, go church. Now me day for altar, say, God, everything where you need to give to me as a person, give unto this man. That's how the no, law of cash you reach when no, you go to pray. Say, see, you say yes, anything, God, anything, anything you need to give me, give it to my husband. Send, yes. Now me send, carry myself, go church. No hmm. prophet tell me anything. Nobody hmm. saying that like this, you go do. Nobody like that, you go do. That is how much, when you get involved, how much you think you want to help somebody, you want to make the person better. Right? This is how much you can, how far women can go. So, People should not just judge when you don't know how much you make. Okay, things are going like this. What will happen? Let me go and pray. In the midst of let me be praying for my husband, you, you, you pray a miss and you pray something and you don't even know the angel that is passing. Okay, now you say make me give up. Now so we mm. go do it. Mm. Because now you take your mouth, talk him. So that same way where I carry my leg, go to I had to carry myself back there. To go and say, God, that thing where I talk. Give me back my glory. <laughs> <laughs> give me back my glory, God, please. Now, I don't now, want to give again. Why did you the, reverse it, CC? What because, happened? Because oh, when things come, they happen. When back, I was receiving, see, I was not receiving beating when I went into the relationship. I was receiving beating from the day we started together with nothing. Now me go carry my mama, my mama salt, my mama pepper. Now me go hide them. Let me go go give her to the man. Let me can ask you something, Sissy. I beg. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to be insensitive. You know, I'm usually very sensitive to people's pain. But mm -hmm. there was something that came up in one of our, our show. And I did a video about it that I will post maybe Sunday. I'm not sure. What was it about it? Was it Kerewa that was so good? No. It's that thing of, oh, this person, they helpless. Nobody. This guy. Okay. Is good. I want to help him. Something. Okay. I want to help. I want to be. Nobody is there. No family, no nothing. Eh? Now me be the only girl where they where they come and I may come be say if I give this person, if I leave this person, how will this person life go be? Will survive. Yeah. How this person go survive? This person don't see food chop. We don't start a relationship. Maybe one day things go better. Maybe make her just stay with them. Things go day okay. We go day okay. Make her the encourager. From being an encourager, from you get yourself roped into things that you don't understand. It's not like mm. it's not good to start with somebody, but sometimes it is not everybody you can start. It's not, it is not everything. Everybody that we appreciate that it. So on top you... of nothing, nothing, we're still doing yes. bad boys beating you on top. Ah, hey, phone where you know, buy phone where my papa buy for me, go break phone, say who be going to call you. But I did not because this, this, this talking about sharing, I did not share with anybody to say, no, be so boyfriend and girlfriend, they be you. No, hmm. I say maybe now nah, he love me. You go, you go beat me. Go say no, come again. Now you go come the beg. Come on, 
can you come? Sometimes you go play like, ah, I want to die. If you don't come, let me just see you. You know it is only you I have. You will now use pity. You will now go back. You start again. Hmm. It was just like that, like that, like that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and now only me. Right? I will sneak food, sneak money, but I go and give. Buy shoe when we have for leg. Now me buy. The clothes we wear for body, now me buy. Things go better. And at the end of the day, things, things turned around. Things became better. Of course, things, things, things turned around. Graduate from school. We still there for relationship. We oh, make my papa, papa. Now me. Well, okay, where are we going? Where am I going to go? Hey, any other country where I won't go. I go need this, I go need that. Now, me still go say, ah, now me still go discover, say, ah, you get some places where you go need, where you go feel travel, go, where they no go ask you plenty documents and everything like that, like that. Now, me still, hey, the day where you travel, where I call in family people, hey, hey, thank you. Say, you still stand by him till the end. You do well, blah, 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 D. But, and, and say, B, hear me and hear me clearly. When I was doing all these things, my mind was not that at the end of the day, we will come marry things. No, I was just there to save that situation and save that moment. Hmm. My mind was, if tomorrow comes and he marries me, fine. If he doesn't, okay, all well and good. I was not dead bent on, oh, I did one because say, marriage was not the motive. But when things became okay, he now said, oh, come and join me. I was like, oh, Okay, so that means I'm, I follow for one of the few way they something they happen to people, you they help people, you they stay with people for relationship, then going remember you at the end. Do you understand? That was how I saw it. But it wasn't as if, but he had temper, he had anger issues, he had all those underlining things. But I was thinking that maybe because of situation when they, you know, when man no get money, but you go the pepper and maybe that is why he is like this. He would change. That is my head. Nobody tell me, no doctor tell me, I don't go any therapy and say, oh, things will change at the end of the day. No, now nah, nah me the process of this one, they say it will happen like this. But did it happen? No, it did not. Then mm. things now, um, things now became bad again, like I was saying in the beginning that now nah me go church, now nah me pray, say, God, there anything where you go give me. Now nah, so make you give on this man and everything because if he be because I had one line being busted, I, I smiled out like hmm, said, this if, line if sounds familiar. Up, it will lift me yes. Up. Yes. Because, because I thought will, that uh, if you if you make it you will you you will lift me up. That thing is not exaggeration. People see we the this thing that happened to Bimbo if, uh, maybe it's my own statistics that might be wrong. There is one of every when you gather women, there are so many women. They know, but people know will come out now and tell you, I have done this, I have done, I have prayed like this. People, people are doing it. Yes. On people your coffee break, said, yeah, even on your coffee break, talk and I say, now she said, they it's a call I did the same. This bimbo story has, yeah, it's similar to her own as well. See, people have done it. Some people have not gone to that extreme she has gone, but people don't work out this journey. And some people are, some women are still in that journey. Hoping that things are going to be better. Now you then go peace. Now you then go say, if you leave me, I will die. Oh, Kiniko, you go come back. Do you know how many times I packed my. You could. It would be as if something is somewhere. I want to leave, but I cannot leave. How many times I pack. Now, so they, if they're beating like they go throw back. Now, so neighbors, they help me. They bring bag. They come in. They, they teach in a war. They happen for the house. You, you know, want children go, they, for this marriage? What yes, would they talk to? yes. Yes. I have two kids. Yes. I have two kids. But you managed to live eventually. After I managed to I managed to live eventually. One day, <clears throat> one day. Now one day they happen. Now one day because I go they pack. I go carry bag. Come out. Say I go go today. I go bring them back. Say maybe I go bring them back. I go carry bag. Come out. I go bring them back. Then one fateful day like that, I say today I am done. Today not today. Today not today. Now, so I dress my children up like Sarah and they go to school. I don't, mm -hmm. nothing, only the clothes where I wear for body. Now, I take come up for that house. Nothing, no dime mm -hmm. to my name, no mm -hmm. safe to my name, mm -hmm. nothing. Just myself and those two children. Mm -hmm. But the and only you've never looked back since then. I never, What's happened? I never, I never look. The only thing is, you know, when you're not processing your plan and everything along the line, my plan, because I have a family that cared and stood by me and loved me and welcomed me, I knew I was running to a safe place. Mm. And I was running back home. And I was going to be welcomed. 
So that one, I, I didn't need to go and hide anywhere. But if I had seen the future, if I had known it was going to be like that, maybe I wouldn't have gone home. I would have gone somewhere to hide. Hmm. But of course, they came for me. They came for my children. And the story was, the story now went down the hill. On, just for, to get my attention. Now, now they look back, they process and say, the reason they got, they took my kids. Now just make, you know, the Nigerian factor and everything. So that you will come back. Play, so mm. that I will come back. But mm. I was determined to run for my head. Like even when friends were saying, oh, you get mine though, your children and everything. I say, children, go find me. As, as I been born, no day again. Nigerian, children, no day alive. Exactly. I don't know mm. where that mind come from. I don't know where, it, but I knew somehow. That I was I, I was going to miss them, but if not that this children they won't take get me back. I'm yeah. Gone. You did the right thing. Don't feel guilty about it. I know as a mother it's not an easy thing, but this is what I preach here all the time. So do do, do they still have your children? They do, but over the years, I feel sound familiar to you. That's why they put in between people. Over the years, things don't they? It was a long journey. It was one day I will come and see. I will come to your show one day. Somebody and... they talk say, as I say, I'm currently on this table. Which advice you will give them? Lastly, the advice I will give her, Susa, she's currently on the table. Meaning she too, she get children. She's going if through she, this. What she just she go, narrated. If, mm. if she feel, if she feel wrong with her children, and run to a safe place, make she make she run. If she not fit wrong with her children for now, if not herself first, because she needs to be sent. Like my papa, my papa was my therapist. May he so rest. My father, my father healed me through the process. Every day he hmm. keep talking to me because at the point I went into depression. Hmm. Because no, they, I know the people, as people they sleep, I go sit down like this. Nights go come, day go come. I go sit down, I go they cry. Waiting at the cry for my children, not before any other thing. Because I, mm -hmm. every, waiting at the cry for my children. My kids were little. My, my son was three, my, son, my daughter was three, my son was two. Mm. These people get mine, do this to me. Do this to these children. I go, they cry for this to My father was like, if you run mad, your children will only identify with you if you become a successful woman. If you run mad and they, they are pointing to you, your children, they say, I see no, 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 mama does they run crazy, pass like this now. They will say, no, be their mama. But if somebody see you for TV, you're a successful person, say, that is my mom. I go raise and say, that's my mom. That's yes. my mom. Yes, children will want to identify with you. So for that reason, you have to pick up the pieces of your life. Everything is going to be okay. Amen. Thank Everything you so much. Is going to, he kept saying that everything is going to be, it's not going to be easy. And the day I left, it was just God saying today, I, I said, God, am I doing the right thing? Hmm. Because I know two sabi prayer, but now me and God, they come, you get as me and God, they say they communicate. Am I doing the right thing? But I just got this conviction in my spirit that you are going to go. Go. It's not well going done. to be easy. Well done. But well... He, he told me categorically, it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to be with you all the way. And sometimes well too, and my church, sometimes I think, make we not put all the church or all the pastors under a, inside the same box because sometimes some pastors that have understanding also help their members. When I went to my church and I told my pastor, what he said to me is, what do you want to do? I said, mm -hmm. this is, he said, okay, wait, let me call, let me try and see if I can call, come into this situation and see what, when he tried to call and the brother, they drew the one went to be King Kong, he comes to, okay, what do you, as I said, what do you want to do? I said, this is what I want to do. He said, okay, it's fine. Because uh, the only thing where God ordained for us, they say, if you, if you quite say you go preach the gospel, it's okay. But say if you quite say because of marriage, God no sign that one. No. So for that reason, sister, anything where you want to do, go ahead and do it. You know, open Bible tell me, say, ah, this is what we want to do, so God forbid. Go fast and pray. Go but back. Go fast and A good pray. woman builds in own home. Go, go God open one room. You, you know, call all the things for you. Mm, that's God, you know, he's paying and so say he's saying go sue the church. Saying that the church now give me go ahead. Why you don't hold on to you so much? <laughs> if you don't make money now, you go feel marry another person now. Why you need you? You know, like how many people you don't marry after them? No, like oh. you see now, 
Because <laughs> they know what's going on. Now, Syria Maria. You don't do one program one day where, um, what's that um, brother? What do you call his name again? He lives in the US here too. The one that mm. is the pastor. He yes. was saying, and also Brother Bill said something about some women come into some men's life and become like, yeah, you're covering. Uh, Brother Patrick. Yes, you, 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 you're, they're covering. They're, they're the reason why, you know, because say everybody, uh, now you know God pass, but there are some people that you align with, eh? Your blessings go to come your way. I knew yeah, I so was. You, you, you carry all your forehead. Yes, I carry them. Mm. I knew. Because mm. since that time, the tree just. You don't collect your oil back. Yes, I collect my oil back. You know when tree, when Jesus Christ said that uh, fig tree say make it dry, people still say ah, but tree still there. This this is still get life now. Maybe they don't yeah. know say the roots. They don't already cut this. What they cut the roots? It goes still there. I do as if it. But after some time, oh my Benny. So oh my since that time, the life just there where it. They, they try everything where they. They try every means where they can. So Continue say, to go live see, your best life. Mama, if you send say, come. to your children, send them to uh, any way you can take down of them. Cove, co, you know, covertly. When you no go, no. If not money, if not to go their school, send somebody go their school. Their day school. Do whatever you can do outside his knowledge to support your children. But you did the right thing, Sissy. You did the right thing, Essa. Mm? Thank you so much, Sissy, for sharing. Powerful. Please come and share the whole testimony when you are ready. We are here to listen. Unfortunately, as much as I want to hear more from you, I got to go now. Uh, Esosa, before I leave, I'm just going to say to you, if you're on that table, you and other people that are saying, I'm sitting on this table, I'm sitting on this table, it's not a good table. It's not a good table to sit on, yeah? Reach out to me so we can, you know, find some support for you in the country where you live. Yeah? If you live in diaspora, for Nigeria, I feel no get power for that side, though. But for Godot, you go, at least. If you, if you are in the U.S., you are in the U.K., you are in Germany, you know, reach out to us so that we can see what we can do to support you. Thank you to everybody that supported the 1 million Naira fund that, you know, I think it's the Holy Spirit that just laid it on, sister, you know. Uh, if it's her, um, our sister, um, not if you, what am I calling her if you now, that we should do it. We started doing it. People are donating already. We're going to keep saying it until we get 1 million naira. Thank you so much, everybody that has contributed. And if you want to reach me, please do so. Okay? You don't need to be in that situation. Don't be a statistics. May they not take you do video. You don't want CEO for your matter. You don't want uh, IG mod for your matter. There is help available, especially if you, need, if you live in a diaspora. I know it's not easy, but it's doable. Thank you to everybody that shared their own experience tonight. Really, really appreciate you guys. Some people are saying they are having problem sending uh, their donation to my Nigeria account, but I think the details are correct. I just double checked. It's working perfectly well. We have another show right away. Yeah. So if you want to donate to Osinachi, we want to send one million naira on behalf of Obodo Farm to Osinachi's children. Whatever God lays in your heart, please send it. Keep sending it. Right. And for Esosa and other people sitting on this table, that's my WhatsApp number. Send me a message or an email, and then I'll link you to people in your in your countries or city where you are that can help you. Nigeria, I never get power for that side, though. Mona, no verse. I have so many emails from Nigeria, but we haven't managed to establish any support system in Nigeria. But God is helping us. We'll get there one day. Sister Uju, yeah, thank you so much for that. God bless you. I size you sent your own. Okay, I'll check later. I'll see you guys. I'm coming right back. I have a guest. Now she go do all the talking. I'm not talking again this time around. God bless you. Please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not done so. And I'm coming back literally in two minutes. God bless you. Thank you very much. Love you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>